Alrighty, well, hi, Vach. How you doing? KJ, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. You're interrupting my VOD channel introduction. Hi, hi guys. Uh, we are playing Loch Ness today. I don't know how long we're going to be playing Loch Ness. So, uh, disclaimer at the start. We're going to play Loch Ness. This game came out a while ago, and I played it, but it was really bad. There was, like, the controls barely worked. It was really hard to play. So, I didn't stream it back then. I just shelved it for a while. But now, they have done a huge update where they ported the game to Unreal Engine 5. As well, as they added a new map and they changed the way the game worked. Which seemed really promising. So, I wanted to give it another shot. So, we're going to play it. If it does end up being bad again, we're going to swap to Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. So, you're probably not going to be upset by that anyway. Because I know, especially the VODs channel, loves Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. Because you guys, are, you're more of the the chill side we got a whole different culture everywhere the youtube the main channel is like full nuts to butts action i mean people love some atmospheric horror but they're mostly there for the action and then the vod channel is very chill vod channel just likes to put it up and like it just just do homework and stuff like that on the side and then twitch is just there to chill we're just there to chill uh so i think we're gonna go say hi youtube on this screen robertori thank you for the five uh, months minuve thank you for the two gifts up nephilus thank you for the seven months Zephyrasi, thank you for the six months. Zali Cabana, Zali Cabana, sorry, not banana. Thank you for the four months. And Jar Jar with a thousand bitties. Thank you. Oh, baby. I think we're gonna go say hi, YouTube. In case it is a YouTube video. I don't know. Again, we don't know how good this is, but we'll see. Also, I, I'm kind of upset the, the Loch Ness monster is glitching in the screen, in the background. You see this? Oh, my God. It's so annoying. I hate it. Anyway, let's go say hi. <laughs> Literal ghost, thank you for the three months. Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Loch Ness. This is a uh, paranormal investigation style game, but instead of hunting ghosts, you're hunting the Loch Ness monster in the background. So you go on a lake with a boat, with a bunch of equipment, and you have to detect evidence for the Loch Ness monster while the, the monster can uh, interrupt you, scare you, attack you in certain different ways. Uh, now, this game actually came out quite a while ago, and I played it back then, but there were quite a few bugs, so many bugs. You know I love bugs, but there were so many bugs that it became barely playable, so I waited for a few updates, and now we're a bunch of updates down the line, and I wanted to check it out again. They have ported the game to Unreal Engine 5 and all kinds of other stuff, so I hope we're going to have a great time, and I hope you join us in hunting down the Loch Ness monster. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you like dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go solo expedition or customized character oh baby no hat the beanie the cowboy cowboy yes oh my god what is this hat what that i'm taking that exit without saving yes save can we do steampunk there's so much my why is there so much customization locked unlocked by joining our discord the big daddy unlocked by question mark question mark what the heck? All right, I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the Salamite, real quick. Oh, let's hop in. Let's head in. Tutorial, yes please. I don't know how this game works. Welcome to Loch Ness. Use W A S D to move. Use the mouse to look around. Use the spacebar to use the radio and talk to your friends in co-op. Use tap to access the handbook for more information on your ob objectives and tools. Uh, tools are essential part of searching for the Loch Ness monster. Start by picking up the flare gun. Flare gun. Flare gun. Oh, baby, here we are. Interaction, good. You can switch between pressing and holding. Wait. Between pressing and holding and just pressing to interact in the accessibility menu. I see. Now let's equip the flare gun. Plus I to open your inventory. Oh, we got a Resident Evil style inventory. Great. Inventory management is essential in Loch Ness. Each tool takes up a certain amount of inventory space or space in the inventory. You can adjust its position by pressing and dragging. Dragging the tool off the grid will drop it on the ground. You can also use R to rotate the object while it's being dragged and right mouse button to equip and unequip. Equip the flare gun. Right mouse button to equip and unequip, right? Is that what it said? Did I just equip it or did I just fuck up completely? Did I just drop it on the ground? I'm trying to turn off the, equip the flare gun. Oh, I dropped it on the ground instead. I'm stupid as hell. Didn't say right click to, to equip it. Am I stupid? Right click. Oh, there we go. You right click it and then wait for the bar to go up. Equipping tools. Good work. The flare gun is one of your most vital tools because it can be used to stop Nessie from hunting you. You can also use the scroll wheel to switch between tools in your inventory. Pick up and equip the thermometer. Wait, we can shoot. Shoot. I can't shoot. I'm trying to shoot. Wait, do I have bullets? Are those flare gun bullets? Those aren't binoculars. Uh, pick up and equip the thermometer. Yes, please. I'm gonna swap between pressing because I don't want to hold. Becca, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, guys. Wait, why did the screen just get smaller? Did the screen just get smaller or am I insane? 
Wait, excuse me? I opened the menu and the screen was like, no, nope, I'm going to be small now. That's weird as hell. Okay, uh, let's see. Gameplay. Uh, audio. Uh, accessibility. There we go. Press and hold. Press once. Press once, and I would like to turn up the, uh, the resolution to this. Accept changes. Uh-oh. Now it's going to be big again. Wait, actually, I should turn it up to even more. Graphics. Look at this. Yes. Accept changes. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Oh my god, it looks so good. It looks pretty as heck. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now I can just press E. Press, press E. Pre did I not apply? I did not apply. Fuck me, I'm stupid. Press once. No, I did accept. Wait, what? Wait, excuse me? Wait, E? E! 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 I don't think this works. Okay, it, I don't know if... <laughs> anyway, let's just use the item for now. Let's just uh, let's just uh, continue with the tutorial. I would like to open my inventory. I would like to equip the thermometer. The thermometer will give a high reading, 20 plus C, when you use it in an area inhabited by the Loch Ness Monster. Go to the dock and get in a boat to test the water. Okay. Fishing rod. E to pick up the fishing rod! Wait. I have a fishing rod. It's the smallest fishing rod of all time. Fishing! Time to catch a fish. First, look for a fishing spot. For this tutorial, we've spawned one at the end of the pier. Use left mouse button to cast your line. Hold left mouse button for longer. We'll cast your, cast your line further. Once the line is cast, you can reel it in using the right mouse button. Aim to cast your line near enough to the fishing spot to attract the fish, but not too far away from you so you can easily reel it in. Okay! What the hell? Fishing? <laughs> we can fish the Loch Ness Monster? Holy shit, this thing is a lot bigger in person. That is far away. Uh, yeah. Fishing continued. Great! Now we wait. When a fish bites, it will create a big splash. Press right click to hook the fish. And as soon as it bites... Uh, wait. As soon as it bites, too late and you will miss your chance and have to cast again. Once the fish is hooked, your line will change color. This indicates the stress on the line. Green means the line is okay. Red means it's about to break. The fish has a mind of its own and will try to escape. Keep your rod aligned with the fish and try to reel it in right click without the line snapping. I'm going to snap it. I'm going to snap. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, where'd it go? Uh-oh. I'm going to fall in if I don't... I'm not careful. Where did my line go? Hey, Chris Sippas. Thank you for the nine months. I can reel it in. Okay, I understand. I understand how this works. Can I throw it far enough away or do I have to get on the boat? I don't think I can throw it far enough. I'm holding down the button quite a while. Can I just hop in the boat? Wait, how the fuck? Uh oh, uh oh. Drowning! Uh oh! You fell into the water! The water is a very dangerous place to be in Loch Ness. Not only does it make you more vulnerable to Nessie's attack, you will also slowly freeze to death. If you aren't saved by a friend or manage to swim to shore, to shore. Luckily, this pond is much smaller than the lock, so you should be able to easily swim to safety at the pier. Swim to the pier and then use the rope to recall the boat. Okay. Um, e to enter the passenger seat. Rowboat? Controlling the rowboat is... It, what is going on? Controlling the rowboat is an essential skill in searching for Nessie. Use Q and E to break with the left and right oars. Use A and D to row with the left and right oars. Did I fucking upside down the boat? The turn, row with one oar. Yeah, I understand how rowing works. If you prefer, you can switch to a more simplified WASD scheme. Uh, what the hell is going on? Wait, I, the boat is upside down? I fucked it up? What have I done? Wait, can I get in the boat like this? Wait, that would be so funny. Wait, 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 wait. Can I get in the boat? <laughs> I'm upside down. Wait, does the game think I'm in the boat? What am I doing? Am I gonna die? Wait, I can't get out of the boat. Okay, here we go. I can't get under the boat. Like, the boat is fucked. Can I flip it over again? What have I done? I ruined everything. Uh-oh. Flip it over. Fuck. I'm skateboarding. Come on. Yes. Flip it. I need this fucking boat. Oh, no. I've... I, <laughs> I managed to break the tutorial. What have I done? I'm stupid. Please. I can't even complete the tutorial. What have I done? Flip it over. Flip over the boat. What the fuck? Oh my god. Wait, enter the boat? Wait, it said enter the boat there as an option. Did it? I swear it did. Okay, maybe not. Imagine I could freaking row upside down. That would be so funny. 
Yeah, I don't think this. I think I have to restart the tutorial real quick. Fuck me. Okay, I'm stupid. I managed to mess it all up. All right, let's uh, let's not do that again, huh? <laughs> oh, now it actually works. I can only press. I can only have to press E once. All right, we're taking the fishing line, and we're going rowing. Here we go. Open the inventory. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already equip, equipped the thermometer. Boom. I speed ran the tutorial. Look at me go. All right, get in the rowboat. Here we go. What the fuck? I'm so fast. Holy shit. Turn left. Uh, that's... What left do you mean? Turn right? <laughs> Break both. <laughs> I did it. Rowboat difficulty. The boat will carry on moving after you stop rowing due to the momentum and will naturally drift along with the water on wind. You can control this somewhat by breaking with both oars, but keep in mind, keep this in mind while you row. It is so loud, by the way. Uh, developing a mind, wait, developing a mind for the drift and breaking power of the boat will help you greatly in navigating any dangers waiting for you in the lock. Today, Jesus Christ, I can't read. Locate a potential Nessie area by a high temperature reading with your thermometer. Okay, let me turn on the audio slightly because it's fucking loud as heck, man. Ambience goes down a bit. Uh, let's just turn this down. Let's just turn it all down. I could have just turned out the master, master volume. That would have been a little bit more. Okay, well, we're turning down ambience even more. The field of view is so high, by the way. What the fuck? The field of view is 120? Are you crazy? That's crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> this is like I can see I can see my the back of my own head, dude. Okay, obtain a high temperature reading. Can I equip my items in the boat? I am just unequipping it. What have I done? Equip it. Yes, there we go. Okay. Oh, found something. What the hecky decky is some huge fish eye. Can I turn down the I've never I wanted to do this, but I'm going to turn down the FOV. This is too aggressive. This is too much. So that's better. I think that's better. Okay, so it's actually hot everywhere. Search for Nessie. Great, you have narrowed down a potential location for the Loch Ness monster. Open your map with M to mark the location. The map can be used to mark the location of evidence, either to gather later or for your fellow Nessie hunters. Okay, you can play this multiplayer. Obviously, you can change the color of your waypoints and icon and change which symbol to use depending on the type of evidence. Mark the locations of your temperature reading on the map. I'm gonna go flag, boom, right click, click, uh, radio, motion, click, click, click. I'm trying to click. Doesn't allow me to click. Can I click? I'm gonna die. The boat is shaking. What's going on? How do I place a marking? I'm trying to click with the mouse, but it's not allowing me to. Did it say something else? I'm stupid? Well, whatever, I guess I'm not doing that. Wait, but I have to do that. Uh, drag. Oh, do I have to drag it on? Maybe. Waypoints. No. No. It doesn't allow me... Oh, there we... What the fuck? <laughs> I just clicked on the screen twice and it did something. Gathering evidence. After narrowing down Nessie's location, the next step is to gather evidence. The main forms of evidence for Nessie's existence are DNA, audio, and photographic evidence. For this tutorial, we will, we will be collecting the highest tier of evidence. Photographic. Nessie is not likely to come in range of our camera without any bait, though. You can use a sample of her call and or fish to bait Nessie towards your camera. Using both will increase your chance of a successful lure. Contain, return to the dock and get the fishing rod. Already 10 steps ahead of you. 10 steps ahead of you. <laughs> fishing, let's go. Okay, wait, but I gotta, I gotta go to the dock, don't I? Because I, I need to figure it out. Wait, what the hell? I need to go back to the sea. Uh, to, to the to the fish spot. Okay, how the fuck do I control this boat? Please, I would like to turn. I would like to turn around. Uh, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm trying my best. Okay, now we just go back. Now we just do both. I'm gonna crash. I'm already crashed. I've already crashed. What is? What did I hit? I hit nothing. I hit the side. The fuck is going on? Okay, these controls are are insane. I mean, they're boat controls, but I think. <laughs> Rowing an actual boat in real life is easier than doing it in this game. What the fuck? Excuse me. Why can't you do both at the same time? You have to do one at a time. Wait, no, you can't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck! 
Step, Nessie. I'm stuck. Uh-oh, I'm shaking. Step, Nessie. I'm gonna change the controls. This shit's awful. Uh, controls. Can I simplify the controls? There was- they said something about that. Uh, gameplay. Simplified. Re simp- I already have the simplified version?! <laughs> this is simplified?! Are you crazy?! What the fuck?! <laughs> okay, well, uh, this- that's a bit fucked. I'm so stuck! Just kill me! It doesn't allow me to go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Look at this go. Look at this man go. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Stop, 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 stop. I'm gonna go that way. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, we're doing it. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. And now we do one backwards, and then we stop as soon as we reach it. Which I don't know where the... Okay, there. Is that close enough? I think I'm close enough. Now I'm gonna get out of the boat, or I'm gonna equip the fishing rod. That was a whole journey. And now we can fish. Please tell me I'm close enough. Hiya! Fuck you. I'm not reading it again. That's right on top of it, right? I thought it shook. I thought it shook for a moment. Wait, did I get it? No, I did not get anything. You were sitting in the opposite direction? I'm lit- What the fuck?! Wait, I got a fish. Wait, I got a fish? What the hell was that giant splash? All right, time to plant and bait an underwater camera and lure Nessie out. Go back to the table to collect the camera. Why are you making me just... You could have told me that I needed the camera before sending me off in the water so I didn't have to go back on land. Tutorial? You should have thought about this before you made me do all this shit. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm getting out of the boat. Can I go this way? Can I go this way? Can I please go that way? Come on. You're so close. You're so close. Just get the fuck out of the boat. How do I get out of the boat? Get out of the boat. What is this? Oh, I opened the handbook. Okay, can you please? I can look down my own... <laughs> my own booba. Please, sir. Could you get out of the boat? E? E does not allow me to get out of the boat. I'm actually stuck on the ground. Holy fuck. Who made these controls? What... What sadistic maniac made these controls. I'm actually going to go insane. Save R? R. Okay, how do I get out of the boat? How do I get out of the boat? Out of the boat. Out of the boat. Oh, you can't. You have to get close to the pier to then click on it? Are you kidding me? But that's the hardest part of this game. Getting the boat where you want it to go. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Wait, I hit it. I'm insane. I've done it. This is how you land. You did it. The man's crazy with it. Okay, now we need the camera. Camera. Underwater camera. Yes, please. No room in inventory. All right, no more fishing rod. Bye. Uh, and then do we need anything else? DNA scanner? I think I'm good. I think I'm good. What is this? Flare gun ammo. Probably useful, you know? Can I drop this on the ground real quick? I should have read that. <laughs> I should have read that. I was just trying to get rid of it. <laughs> Probably important information that I just clicked away immediately. Whatever. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Woo-wee! I just wasted all my ammo. Holy fuck, I'm burning down the forest. <laughs> what have I done? Help, I'm sorry! Take her off the fire! Stop! <laughs> Smokey the bear is gonna kill me! Uh-oh, I started a forest fire. <laughs> what else is new? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's forget that ever happened and go on the- <laughs> I just I created a fireball. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, no. Excuse, excuse me. I'm a little, I'm a little scared. Okay, I'm actually stuck. You can do this. You can push away from the, from the side. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. I don't believe in you. I actually hate you. Okay, I'm gonna just go push the boat. Push the fucking boat. There we go. That's so much easier. Oh no, I'm gonna lose the boat. No, 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 no. I can't jump in this game. Uh-oh. I, it's... 
Why was that so easy? I could have just done that the first time. Okay, now please. Don't fuck it up. Why are you... Why are you sitting on it that way? I fucking... You can only go backwards. You can only go backwards, which I understand because that's how a boat works, but at the same time, I'm going to become the Joker. Holy fuck. All right, we're pushing it further. I need to flip it around. Boom. Please tell me I didn't actually flip it around. Okay, I didn't actually flip it around. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. We fixed it. Look, I fixed it! Easy peasy. Flawless controls. Okay, now what do I do? Just go to the middle of the lake and drop it. Recall the boat from the pier. I'm literally sitting in the boat. What are you talking about? Wait, don't tell me I need to do something like that. Oh my god, you piece of shit. What have you done? Are you kidding me? I have to get back to the pier? To then recall the boat that I'm literally sitting on? Is that what you're making me do? Go back to the beginning? Okay, crash, crash, just crash. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. I've done it. Okay, now recall the boat from the pier. How do I recall the boat? I'm guessing there's an E here somewhere. This? Yes. Place the underwater camera. Okay, here we go. I've done it. Nice. Boom. Place the underwater camera near Nessie's location. I forget where that was, but I'm just gonna try. The controls aren't that bad. It's just bad when you get stuck. That's when it gets, like, fucked up. Okay. I'm gonna go this way, please. Yes, let's go. The real horror game is the boat. Okay, let's open up this and look for the... Look for the spot, right? Uh, I think that's land. I don't think we're gonna find it there. <laughs> it's just fucking me. I think I went too far. I think I've made a grave mistake. Take it off. I thought this was a horror game. I'm having the time. It's just a comedy game. Okay, go this way. All right, check the map. Check the map. Yes, waypoints. Okay, I am... This is not the map. I'm not on this map. You are lying to me. This is a different map. This is the Loch Ness map. You said me. You told me I wasn't there yet. What the fuck? Anyway, we're just gonna do it here. I'm just gonna hope it works. Place down the camera. Oh, here we go. Boom. Attach the fish. Can I equip the fish? <laughs> I can equip the fucking fish. Boom. Equip the tablet. Oh. How do I use? How do I use? How do I use? How do I use? Uh, no, I don't want to pick it up. I don't want to pick it up. How do I use items? Uh, controls. Um. E doesn't work. I tried to E. Wait, no, I didn't try to E because I didn't want to E. Uh, because I didn't want to pick it up. Right mouse button. Rotate. It doesn't say it anywhere. Uh-oh. Interact. Left mouse button. The mouse buttons don't do anything. Uh, uh-oh. I have to move away from it? Okay. Move away from it. Get this shit out of my face. There's a switch sheet options. Wait, what is switch sheets? Wait, there's an option for that? Uh, controls. Switch sheets. None? Uh, I'm gonna do T for- None. T? Accept. There we go! Okay, now I can do something. <laughs> That's very- Why is that unbinded? Unbound by the start of the game. Okay. Now e. There we go! You have to press E, but I couldn't press E earlier. Underwater camera. Use A and D to move the camera left and right. Zoom the camera with W and S. Or the scroll wheel. You can press caps lock to enter the thermal camera mode, which will allow you to see Nessie approach from a further distance. You can also press the number keys to look at the corresponding camera if you have multiple placed. Use the space bar to take a photo when Nessie is in sight. Can I move it? I can't move it. Nessie? Nessie? Nessie! What? What the fuck? Help! I'm not even sitting in the fucking... What's going on? Ah!
fucking duck. <laughs> Great work, you finished the Loch Ness tutorial. You can return to this level at any time to practice using tools or rowing. Until then, we hope you will enjoy exploring the Loch and searching for the elusive Nessie. I'm pretty sure that's not Loch Ness. <laughs> pretty sure they messed with me. Are we... <laughs> I got trolled! Uh, because I was playing the tutorial, you treat me like a baby? Okay, inventory size, I'm gonna go spacious. Nessie type? Plesiosaur, eel, or shark? I'm gonna go Plesiosaur, because that sounds that sounds normal to me. There's an eel mode, there's a shark mode. All right, let's actually play the game now. We have tried the tutorial. I know how to move around somewhat, a little bit, maybe. Uh, and we'll see how it goes, huh? Look at that. The real Nessie would, Hunter would say otherwise. Okay, come on. The loading is so slow. What the fuck? Please, says Sour. Hello? Can my game load? Game? Hello? My game is fucked? Crashed. I'm scared. Oh, there we go. Holy shit. That was actually like a minute of loading. I have a, <laughs> I have a pretty strong computer. That's kind of terrifying. But anyway, uh, we're here. We loaded in. Pick up the torch. We got so much stuff. Uh, what does any of this means mean? Uh, the flare gun is apparently really important, but I kind of like to die if I can, because then I get to see the monster, right? So maybe we can just die instead. Uh, we're gonna take the torch. Maybe I need the torch. Do I? Can I turn on the torch? Okay, that doesn't take up much inventory space, so that's fine. Uh, am I? I'm not hearing any game. I'm not hearing any game. Is there no game in my game? Did it, someone remove the game from my game? Where's the sound? Hello? Oh, there we go. There's sound. It's just very quiet right now. Okay. Oh, there we go. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? I went to the menu, went back, and now there's game. Okay. Magic sketcher? Wait, what? Can't... Oh my god. No man should have all this power. That's so fucking weird, penis. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, what are you talking about? Don't talk to me. Okay, I'm gonna take the audio detector. I'm gonna take the thermometer. Yes, that's very important. I'm not gonna take a cam yet. What is this? The DNA scanner? I can't, I don't have enough space. Do I have, could I carry anything else? I, I shouldn't have the fishing rod. I feel like that's a little pointless. It would be fun, but I feel like it's a little pointless to start off. Can I carry the DNA scanner? Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff. Wait, I should have enough space for another thing, shouldn't I? We can also take the binoculars, maybe? I'm gonna take the binoculars. Okay, nice. Right-click, they'll use the binoculars. There we go. That's that's nice and easy. I'm curious. This is actually kind of spooky. Oh, like, what is over there? You don't need the DNA scanner till you find Nessie. I don't know! I don't know what I'm doing. You might have to fish to collect samples. Let's see. We have a handbook, right? Loch Ness handbook. Capture photographic evidence, collect DNA sample, record audio. So we need the DNA sample and we need to record audio. Welcome, prospective Nessie Hunter, to the official ne Nessie Investigation Bu Bureau's handbook. Uh, narrow down her location, bait her out, audio sample, attach, a cam attach it to the camera. Tools, DNA scanner, underwater audio detector, flare gun, yes, all that stuff. Sightings, you can see it with the binoculars, obviously. Thermometer is going to be really important. DNA scanner is also very important. Uh, apparently underwater uh, so we got all the stuff let's just head in there we got two boats in case one of them uh mysteriously disappears when a certain someone loses it you need to catch a fish for you need to catch a fish for why do you need to catch a fish first <laughs> you do am i being lied to under what you need bait to lure but we don't need the lure to get the audio right Okay, maybe we do. We'll take the we'll take the fishing rod. And I have to drop stuff though. What do I drop? I'm gonna drop the handheld DNA scanner. Yes. No, drop it. Drop it. And then we're gonna pick this up. 
It better be right, or I'll be upset. Beef the DNA. Can I carry a fish now? I do have enough inventory space for a fish. Okay, let's go. Lucy, thank you for the 12 months. First DNA. Hey, people told me I need a fucking fish, so I'm gonna get a fish, okay? This is actually kind of terrifying. I can't see anything. Why did you choose this day to go? This is the worst possible day. Who goes at night? Oh, no. Wait, what is happening? I'm... I'm what? Oh, no. I've turned around. I'm stupid. I'm going into the dock, please. I'm taking the other boat. Fuck that boat. I don't like that boat anyway. That's the <laughs> worst boat I've ever seen. Bye. <laughs> Okay, it's very, you can switch realistic controls. I already tried that. This is real. this is simple, simple controls, which isn't very simple. I gotta give it to you, or I gotta say. All right, we're using the thermo. Uh oh, what the fuck is happening? My boat's shaking so hard. I'm gonna swat, Oops. I saw myself. Wait, I saw myself. How did that happen? Wait, was that even me? Was that a guy with a mining hat? What the fuck? That's terrifying. Who the hell was that? Okay. Any cold, any hot spots? No hot spots. Can you stop talking about the controls? I'm trying to play the video game. Oh, it's getting hotter here. Okay. Let's let's go. Uh, I can't do that here. I need to go this way. Yes. Okay. Further we go. Uh oh, what is happening? Solo, I thank you for the seven months. I am just lost in the sauce right now. This is kind of terrifying. I gotta say, this is pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Any any hot spots? There's a sick spot over there. That doesn't. That's where I'm going, right? Yeah, I think so. So we should go further. Let's go further then. Uh, unequip it. Unequip it. Uh, I'm using binoculars. <gasps> Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what the hell is that? Was that a nest? Was that the eyeballs? I can't see. Wait, what did I just see? Is that the monster? Or is that my? Sh is that my? That must be my car, right? That must be my till lights. That's not the monster. That must be my van. Okay, I'm gonna go further. Because it seems like the way I'm going is a hot spot. This is actually kind of terrifying. Where am I? What the fuck? Sightings everywhere! This is a big lake. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going into the sightings. That's a big freaking lake. Also, I need to turn up the, the brightness a little bit. Can I do that? Graphics, brightness, brrr. Except changes. Thank you. That's better. Now we can actually see. Right, I'm gonna stop here. Break. Or oh, hold W to break. Yes. Stop talking about the controls. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, nothing is here. I'm not getting any hot spots. It's I mean it's a little more hot over there. I feel like I gotta go so much further. What the hell is all this? Is there a town there? Can I go to Lewiston? Also, the lock looks a lot like a like a like a uh, river, but I guess it's not. It's a lock. Take that off. It's not a lake. It's a lock. What's the difference? Can anyone educate me? It's a long lake. Is that what a lock means? A li lock is literally a long lake. I had no idea. Oh, it is the Scottish word for lake. Then why did people lie to me? Okay. Why the fuck? It's still six over there. I'm not... What is happening over there? Can I use anything? Let's see. I could use... I don't think there's fishies here. Un underwater audio detector. That's awesome. Fucking underwater ASMR. Okay. Yeah, if we can find something, that's gonna be sick. <laughs> that's gonna be cool. Okay, now can I- I can't fish here, right? This is not gonna have anything. Let me 
fish that real quick? What the hell was that noise? That sounded very evil. Come on, fish. I don't think you can get fish. I think you gotta go to one of those fishing spots. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. I think I have to go to a fishing spot. So let's actually f f search around a little more. This is a really good atmosphere though. Phasmo should add fishing. I'm going so fast, right? Am I going fast? It feels like I am. Uh oh, what am I doing? I'm going so fast. God damn. Sorry for the screen flickering so much, like changing position because when I hit the buttons to control the boat, it immediately resets my uh, sight to go forward when I'm looking backwards. All right, where am I? I have not moved an inch. How the fuck? Is this map even functional? Or is this literally the largest lake of all time? I'm just gonna hold the down button for like a solid 30 seconds. If we don't move on this map, I don't understand. The scale is crazy. Or maybe I'm just stuck. Okay. Look how fast it seems like I move. Looks like I'm in a fucking speedboat. I'm gonna run into Nessie. Okay, I'm gonna break now. Did we move? Okay, we- I- maybe? No? <laughs> Excuse me. Video game. Am I stuck? Oh, it's, it's hot there. I can't- I don't have anything to like, look. Just all of the pl everything looks the same. Can you zoom in on the map? What the fuck? That is not getting. I'm so different. I'm in such a different spot than I thought. Okay, well, that is not helpful. Okay, here we go. I would like to go there. Yes, so I, I went too far. Can I use the, the, no, no, this, no. Can I shine? Okay, the flashlight was a terrible mistake. Why did I take this? Why did I take this? This was useless. Okay, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna go to the, to the right, which means I need to go to the right. Yes, yes, maybe. Let's see. Stop it. Okay, why are you? Oh my god, unequip it. Unequip this shit! Thank you, I wanna go. You can drop the flashlight inside the boat. I don't know if you can, that would be kinda OP. Right, am I going the right way? I am going the exact opposite way I wanted to go, so that is good. Just so you know, you, you're going the complete wrong way. Okay, we're just gonna go this way. This is fine. Yes, 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 yes. Now we go like one, two, and then we're almost there. I'm going under. I'm standing on the water. I regret everything. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Push the boat! Help! I'm fucked! Oh no, you can fix this. Don't be such a helpless piece of shit. You can fix this. I made a great mistake. I flipped the boat. Uh oh. I don't think I can swim to shore. I think it's too far, man. I think I'm dead as hell. I can't even look at the map. I'm dead. You can fix this. Don't be so helpless. There's a boat right here. I literally didn't do anything. Good thing we have two boats. Well, guess I'm fucking reloading. <laughs> Well then, um, that was a little rough start, but we got this. <laughs> what the hell even happened? I don't even know. My guy just freaking flipped over. How did I flip it? I just clicked the back. I just clicked the move button. 
Dude, the loading screen is scarier than the game. I don't even know what that was. This loading is so slow. What the fuck are they loading? I'm going to the menu. How is how is it taking so long to get to the menu? You're loading in all the bugs? They're loading in the realistic boat movement, dude. Jesus Christ, that was the longest time I've waited to get in to the menu of all time. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just do this again. Sure, yes. That hat is so fucked. I went to shower and it's still loading screen? No, that was a different loading screen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, here we go. That was much better. Much faster. Unless... 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 This is insane. What do you even do when the boat flips over like that? Like, how do you even prevent that and how do you fix it? Did they not think about that? I'm just confused. It's loading a... The monster? Or something. It did this last time too. I'm just waiting. Freezer crash. I don't know what's going on. Nothing is moving. If I click on the screen, it not it doesn't show me like not it's not responding. It's just loading. Okay, well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, there we are. We have made it back. Let's try to not uh fuck up the boat this time, huh? Alright. So I'm not gonna take the flashlight, because the flashlight was pointless. Instead, I'm gonna take the DNA scanner. So also thermo, and then can I carry anything else? The fishing rod? Fishing rod. Where's the fishing rod? Fishing rod. I'll grab it over here. Yes! Alright, I can carry all of that. Perfect. Don't know if I'll be able to carry a fish with this, but I can just drop one of the DNA scanners in the water. Ooh, maybe maybe one of the fishes will like it. Alright. Let's try and not die. Pick up the life ring. No room in inventory. Alright, well, I guess we're not doing that. Let's see the map, huh? So we need to get to these sightings. And then we check it out. Okay, that's what we're doing. That's what. That's how this goes. Here it goes. This time, this time we got a mission. We are a sailor with a mission. Yes. Change seat. A seat. No, oh, don't, don't flip me. Don't flip me. I'm underwater. I'm literally underwater, underwater rowing. How does that work? Jeebus, this lake is big. This is creepy though. I like the, it, if you go too fast, how are you supposed to know if you go too fast? There's no like, just, everything looks the exact same. Okay, we're getting there. Buoyancy is weird. Titanic music begins to play. Okay, we're getting closer. Closer to the sighting. Yeah, Unreal Engine, by the way. Okay, we're there. Uh oh. Don't, no, no! I was about to flip. I was about to flip my shit if I flipped, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, we need to go the other way. Why are you so far? I literally have to keep looking at the map. I'm so glad this map has like radar positioning that w without that, I would be hopelessly fucking lost. Okay, we found it. Stop, stop the boat. We're here. We're here. Let's sit on the other side. And now look with the thermo. It's just nothing. I d what? I'm right there. I'm right freaking there, man. All right, we're gonna use some scanner. We're gonna use the uh, the water scanner. I really, this is cool though. This is like cool stuff. Okay, well that does not work. Maybe we use the DNA scanner. Sea trout? Wait, do I need to figure? Unidentified 0.3. Okay, so we're looking for unidentified, I'm guessing. We're just got a normal fish here, though. This is not what we need. Okay. Nothing seems to be here. So I guess we're gonna continue a little further. Maybe we're not close enough to the siding yet. 
Use the fish DNA. Okay, we're, we're getting closer though. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, they were right on top of it. Come on, this has got to be it. Switch seats. Something's pretty fishy here. Same, I think so. boat gently down the stream there's no unidentified here this was the only tools we had right we have an audio recorder so we can't get the audio detector we can't record audio for a luring nessie right am i not doing this right i'm literally on top of the siding am i supposed to, i mean there's a lot of sightings here maybe we should go there instead i feel like we should go there I feel like that's... I feel like we should go there. Maybe process of elimination. It's creepy noises. Don't forget the scream. Okay, don't go that far. Come on. Okay, we're pointed in the right direction. Now go. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Is it not a dream? I thought it was life is but a dream. Your boat gently down the stream. Dirt stream. More like a nightmare. Go the boat. Row, row, row. Am I stuck on something? I'm stuck on Nessie. Uh oh. Wait, I'm actually. I'm not stuck. Okay, I'm not stuck. What the hell is going on? It's shaking so, so much. Don't flicking flip over. No, no. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, my friend. I'm going too fast, apparently. Okay. Don't flip over. It's such a tiny boat. It's such a tiny freaking boat. Okay. Dark, thank you for the two months. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there, and then we got a lot of sightings to go over. So here we should find some evidence. I don't know where the fish are, but no, 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 please, please calm down. Doesn't seem like there's many fish, huh? The real bonbon, bon, thank you for the four months. Okay, we're right there, we're right there. Stop the boat. Stop the freaking boat. Sit on the other side of the boat and use the thermo. Man, they really made this realistic, huh? They made it realistic, which means you're not gonna find shit. <laughs> is that what that is that what this game's all about? Not finding anything? It's like as if you were doing a fucking ghost hunting simulator and you just were sent to an empty house and it's like, haha, it's the most realistic ghost hunting game of all ghost hunting game of all time, you idiot. It's getting a little hotter, that's true. Wait, it's actually eleven degrees there though. Maybe that is what someone maybe that is where we need to go. But the thing is, that knowing- Oh wait, no, it's getting colder now. Is that because I'm moving? Might be because I'm moving. Get the DNA thingy? I have the DNA. Okay, no on- Just 1.4% unidentified, oh my god. Being on this tiny boat, though, in the middle of a giant lake is kind of terrifying. None of this works. None of this is doing anything. So we go, con we continue. Have we drawn? We have not gone far. We're still there. Okay. Uh, we sit back in the boat. We go, we gotta go straight. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I'm going the right way. I'm almost on top of it. Now, are you are you happy with me? Uh oh, my boat's shaking. Wait, does that mean there's sound underneath? Underneath the boat? I can't do much more than just use this thing. Go to the center of the sightings. You mean I'm you mean like Do you know or are you just speculating? 
think you're just speculating. Okay, none of this is working. Let's go here. In between all the dots. I'll try! Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Oh my god, it's so shaky. Look at the water bellow. There were red eyes in the water? Are you kidding me? Okay, we're in the center of the siding. So that's where we're going. There we are. Now break! Alright, I've made it. You happy? The flag? I placed that flag! That's my flag. I placed it by accident. I can't remove it though, so you're just, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, now I placed the, uh, the fucked on more. Can I remove them? I don't think you can remove waypoints. Alright, so we're just gonna have- Okay, yeah, this is fucked. Can I remove my waypoint, please? I would like to remove my waypoints. Okay, yeah, you can only add waypoints. You can't remove waypoints. Um, who's created this game? I need to fucking enact some corporal punishment right now. Because this shit's stupid. I need a, I need some booties need to be smacked. Because this is stupid. Delete key? Oh, maybe delete key. Maybe I'm stupid. Mine first. Okay, now you're just making this weird. <laughs> okay, can I delete key? No, the delete key does not do anything. What are you doing? Why is it blinking? Why are you blinking? Also, when you right click the map, when you right click to move the map, it resets back to this. So you can't move it much further. Oh! Have I flipped? No? What the fuck was that? What was the blue, blue, blue? Blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Fishes? I mean, there's fishes here? The water is... I mean, it's cold water. You would definitely have a rough time in here. I feel like they made it a little hard to find anything in this game. It's so big. Holy shit. What the fuck? Jesus Christmas. Okay, where the hell is Nessie? Can I find a fish so I can bait you? Dude, I need to find a fucking fish, man. Okay. Wait, I'm not sitting. Can you move the horse? There you go. <gasps> Wait, there's something. Wait, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What the fuck? Wait, I don't have binoculars. I'm so bad. What the hell is that? Wait, I need to go there. Is that fucking... Is that it? What? Wait, I need to go there. Um, which means I need to... What are you doing? What are you doing? Go that way. Spin around. Yes. Now we go this way. What? There's a fucking house here? What is this? What if I found? Oh. Blub, blub, blub. Blub, 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 blub. Blub, 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 blub. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> what the fuck, birds? <laughs> Did I just got moved? What happened to my thing? Try to fish here? Oh, I'm getting like shuffled around. Okay, I'm gonna use the fishing rod now. Maybe there's something here. Woo. Okay. Oh. 
I got hit. My boat got hit. Wait, where did it go? Uh oh. Wait, where did the whole thing go? It's it's gone. Have I been? Wait, did I just get trolled? What the fuck? I need to catch a fish. The branch. This is actually kind of terrifying. I, this is cool though. Like. What's happening over there, man? Birds, please save me. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here. So why don't we... Should we go back? Should we go back to the base, see if there's fish around the base? <gasps> what the hell?! Excuse me! Boom! Hello? Help! Audio! What the fuck is going on? There's a skeleton boat! Excuse me! And it's back! What? This is wild! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Market and sightings? How do I... I mark uh, sightings. Oh, did I place all of these by accident? How do I place one marker, man? Oh, it's bubbling, 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 bubbling. I don't know how this works. I don't know how any of the keybinds work. The keybinds are fucked up, man. You can't remove them, you can't place them. Can I make a blue one? Oh wait, I'm blue now. I'm blue da ba dee da ba da. How do I place a marker? It doesn't allow me to place a marker. It's just not working. I don't think this is a lot. I don't think the map works. Check controls. I don't think it said anything about markers. Wants me to play with it. No. I don't think it says anything. Open map is just M and then E. Fireplace. That's also not it. I don't think this works. Wait, you have like a maximum of until. Yeah, maybe I just placed these by accident. I think that actually. I think I placed these markers by accident and I can't remove them. I think that's what's hap what happened. Holy shit, I didn't even realize that. Okay. I can't- I thought they were stuck because I couldn't remove them. What? I can place them now again. But I can't remove them. So what is the point? Oh wait, there's a max amount of markers. So what if I just place them all in the corner? Then I automatically remove them. Wait, I'm a genius? Okay. I'm a genius. I'm just gonna use this corner underneath my face. That's my trash can for... Wait, but the markers there are not going away. So wait, they are placed by the game. They are placed by the game. They're not my markers. So the, the game, they place those. Okay. Okay, now I understand. I That was cool, though. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Marker trash. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna go. Fucking move, man. Go, 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 go back. I don't know what's happening, but I don't want to be here anymore. What the hell? My boat is shaking. No, don't do this. Okay, we're going the right way. Go back to the base. Come on. What the fuck? Can I fish it? I don't think I want to fish it. Uh, this is bad. Can I look at the cam? 
man, you really want to kill me. Wait, what's that? Oh no, don't go, don't flip over, don't flip over, don't flip over, don't flip over. Don't flip over. No! Oh, baby. What's that? Wait, you see that? What is that? I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but I don't know if I want to be here anymore. Help! Oh, no. I'm being sucked in by some kind of fucking vortex. Help! Help! Ah, I flipped over! No! What the fuck, dude? Someone flipped my boat! <laughs> Wait, this is so cool! I'm super dead though. Wait, is that is that the land? Go. I can't make it. This is too far. Wait, no, that's Nessie, isn't it? I think I'm going straight to the monster. Eat me! Oh, going underwater. Yep, alright, well I'm dead. It was fun while it lasted. Can I grab the what? <laughs> no. All right. Well, um, I don't. I wish there was like a button to unflip the boat, huh? That'd be kind of cool if you could unflip the boat. But I guess that would make the game too easy. I don't think the game is too easy. I think the game is a little. I think I'm going straight off into the distance. I'm going off into the fucking sunset. The Maley Dale. The Maley Dale. <laughs> Notorious police officer still at large. Notorious police officer PC Willis is reported as still being on the run from the law. Willis first came under fire when it emerged that a number of his drug-related arrests had been under false or shaky pretenses. Further investigation by the Metropolitan Police found that Willis had caused, sus caused suspected criminals undue psychological and bodily harm. The Metropolitan Police officers prior to these allegations described Willis as the model police officer whose zealotry and deep love of justice inspires us and the community. When called upon to stand trial, when called upon to stand trial for police brutality and abuse of power, Willis disappeared, and a manhunt began that is reportedly still underway. The Metropolitan Police have said they they are using every resource at their disposal to apprehend Willis and bring him to justice. Also, that was not even related to me. Big cat sighting skyrocket. <laughs> Big cat. Expedition to Loch Ness fails to find proof. A recent expedition to Loch Ness which sought to prove the existence of the Loch Ness monster has come up short. Will the participants continue to maintain their belief in the elusive cryptid? They have failed to provide any photographic audio or genetic proof to back up their plans. This, make them the late, this makes them the latest in the long line of groups hoping to prove the Loch Ness monster's existence. Dating back to the 1930s when the first sightings began to emerge. A representative of Nessie Believer Society had this to say. Obviously, I am, I am disappointed by the result of this expedition, but this does not mean that we have lost fate. Another expedition to the lake will prove that we, what we all know, that Nessie is real. Whether the Loch Ness Monster is real or not remains to be seen, but experts remain skeptical. Dr. Arthur Schmoikson of the Institute of Proper Zoology, Zoo Zoological Study, says on the monster, Until we see def definitive DNA evidence, it is very unlikely the Loch Ness Monster exists exists. The, the environment is simply not suitable for aquatic life that large. While Nessie's existence remains to be seen, what is certainly true is that the expedition was not succeeded, that the expedition had not succeeded in producing convincing evidence. God damn it! Wait. Pictured below a reported photo of a big cat in Cornwall? It's just two eyes. What the fuck? Picture of Willis in his uniform behind... <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in. I have, this was cool. Like it was a lot of just confused on what to do, but then all of a sudden sh shit started hitting the fan and it became crazy. That was actually very interesting. <laughs> that was kind of interesting. Okay, let's see. <laughs> it started slow, kind of similar to Conrad. Yeah, kind of. Okay, the loading screens are way too long though. What the fuck? Kind of like Paranormal PI, yeah. It's just like you don't know what to do, right? Which is similar to how Connor Stevenson's Paranormal PI worked. Like if I... Uh, let's just add in again. Because we're going to be loading for a while. Is there a different map? I don't think there is. <laughs> Nessie's kind of evil. Nessie is kind of evil. That's kind of crazy. Or, am I not Willis? Uh, no, I don't think I am. Is it on Steam? I think it's like 10 bucks. 
things like Phasma price. Oh man, the fucking loading screens though. They're making me go crazy. They're making me go crazy. I'm playing some music. I can't play some music. I'm playing some music. I can't even load. Wait, what is going on? I crashed my whole computer. Oh no. Am I done? Am I got? Am I gone? Wait. Help. What the fuck is going on? Wait. Rip. Hello. Wait. I'm. I'm stuck. Can you guys see me? Am I here? Hello. Um. Hello. Wait. I. I found it. Never mind. I can play music now. I don't even know what happened. We see me. Okay. You see me. That was weird. My whole computer started freezing, and I'm seeing like a screenshot from in the game. Have I played What Remains of the Oberdin? I have. Bum bum. Oh baby, here we are. All right. Well, that last expedition was uh, not very successful. I still think I'm gonna bring the. So let's bring the binoculars as well. Does it take an inventory slot? It's not even take an inventory slot. All right. So the binoculars. Do we want the camera this time? I kind of want the camera this time. A thermo, and then we skip on the DNA scanner because we can't carry that. I guess we do skip on the DNA scanner. Let me grab the camera. Because the camera seems kind of cool. We can also grab the fishing rod. All right, this seems like a very efficient use of my inventory. So let's try that. Uh, let's hope we don't get killed this time, huh? So that, open the map. So I open the map and the sightings things are still there, but they're randomly generated because they're different now. I'm going to go in the middle. So I'm going to place my own, my own blue one in the middle. That's not where I placed it, but I'll take it. Okay, we're going to go that direction. And hope we don't die. This was cool. Was... Okay, we gotta take a little turn. Please, please move. No, don't go that way. Go the other way. You're going the wrong way. This is totally my fault, by the way. <laughs> I'm just steering poorly because the controls are very janky. Desync? No, no. If there's desync, you gotta just refresh your... Uh, refresh the stream because there can be desync on, on Twitch all the time. Going the right way. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way now. Go, go, go. Yes, right. We're going right in the middle. I don't know if that's the right idea, but last time we definitely found something, huh? After a while. But I need fishes. I don't know how to get fishies. Fishies are so hard to get. Like, do they just hide fishies somewhere on this giant lake? I was once supposed to find a fishy. Ordered chaos. Thank you for the 12 months. Gold, gold, golf god Dave. Thank you for the four months. And Death Knight. Thank you for the eight months. But I'm trying to go. Okay. I like that you actually gotta work for this. This feels like a game where you're supposed to only complete it once, almost. And then you can do it with your friends as well. Definitely found a monster, though. But you can fish? Yes, you can fish. Okay, I'm in the I'm getting in the circle of the sightings. So let's uh, grab our, let's go to here and grab our thermo. Okay, so it's six over. I don't know how this shit works. It's seven now. This, it was supposed to be like 20, wasn't it? That's what they said. So I'm not in a good spot. Can I place this cam? I just want to see. Oh, what the hell? water just there's nothing i can see stuff wait they generate a hole underwater what the fuck it's like it's like iron lung <laughs> that's kind of sick are there fishies too if i can see some fishies i can fish them el gree thank you for the gifts up i only got one cam can I move up and down? I can't move up and down, but that doesn't really help me at all. There are no fishies here. There's just a few plants. That's not much, huh? That's not much. Can I get out of this? Can I get out of this, please? Help. Okay, there we go. Pick up the buoy. No, I was trying to pick up the buoy. Unequip this. Oh, please unequip it. Please unequip it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Thank you. Okay. So nothing to see here. Let's move a little bit. We're gonna move. I know you guys said we should be in the middle of the sightings, but I'm still gonna go to one of the sightings because I feel like they wouldn't mark it on the map like that if I wasn't supposed to go in like to the markers, right? 
spiel, that would make a lot of sense. I got the chat had. Yes, I do. Right, one more turn. I do have to like, basically look at the map every time because I have no idea where I am if I don't look at the map. Okay, we're going the exact way we want. Perfect. Okay, we're here. We're here. Stop the boat. Now grab the thermo. Just gonna update. This is really fucking difficult. <laughs> like, if I'm supposed to find... Spots? Like, that is hard. Place the cam again. Use the audio recorder, maybe. Wanna see that skeleton boat again? Like, what the hell was that? Was I hallucinating? Okay, no sounds. Did we just fish? I feel like I just need to have patience, right? There's no way I need to find one of those fish spots. Do I? Because that would be crazy. Then I, then I haven't seen a single one of them. I'm just waiting. Do you win a match? You need to get photos of the Loch Ness monster. What are fish used for? You have to have fish to lure uh, Nessie, so you can take photos. But getting fish is really hard, apparently. Also, I'm underwater. This must be so fucking cold. I don't think there's water here. Or water here? I don't think there's fish here. I think there's enough water here. I don't think there's fish here, though. Strong difference. Place it. Place it. Thank you. Jeebus! There's no water. I don't see any fish. I wonder if you could see fish that way. That would be really cool. What is that? On the... I zooming in that way? Oh, I am zooming in that way. Okay, there are no fishes here. No fishes. Well then. Well then. Guess we're getting rid. What the fuck? What do you mean? I started spinning like a Beyblade and then I went, where did my boat go? What the fuck? I didn't do anything. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm dead. What the hell, man? <laughs> You're supposed to stay in the boat. I didn't do anything. You saw, you were looking at the screen too. I have no idea what just happened. Save me. Oh, I can pick it up. How nice. But I can't open the fucking map when I'm like this. Well, um, I guess I'm dead. Guess it's all over now. I don't know where my boat went. I hope it's having a good time off in space. It freaking spun on the water and then just launched into the, out into the stratosphere. What the fuck? That was so... Okay, well, I'm bad. Guess we're going... Come on, we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> This shit's so fucked, man. This shit's fucked up. And drama, thank you for the three months. The loading screen is epic, though. Yeah, I wish it didn't last for fucking five minutes. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, this doesn't help. I need to alt tab and then... There we go, we got music. I don't know how... Like... This seems so fucked up. Oh, that actually was a fast load. It just doesn't make any sense, like, how... I'm not trying to be too rude. But, like, as a developer... Do you play your own game? Ever? Like, a single time? This is 
the... Oh, what the fuck is going on? Go in rampage mode? I'm just asking a question. I'm asking a, like, like a good faith question. Because as someone who has played this game for an hour, I have found more bugs in this game than I've had in, like, the average fucking janky free itch.io game. <laughs> like I played, I paid fucking ten dollars for this, for this game. Like the atmosphere is good, don't get me wrong, but the bugs are just everywhere. It's crazy. Stop! Thank you for the five months. They baited me to QA test it. God damn! This idea is so good. Like that's the thing. I don't understand how they fucked up because the idea is so good. Alrighty, well here we are. We're back. I just, I think this game is, like, really cool on an idea level. Like, I think the idea of this game is very, very fun. But, oh boy, the bugs are just unacceptably... What? I can play Pong. Okay, I take everything back. It's the best game ever made. I'm insane. I'm insane. <laughs> What the fuck? Woo! Get killed, idiot. Oh my god, what the fuck? How did you hit that one? Holy shit, he hit it. He's insane. Get fucked. <laughs> I remember, I've made it Pong AI before. Uh, I had to do that in in uh, college as one of my assignments. The best- No! Oh, the best way to win against it is just hitting it on the edge of the thing. Because it always loses when you- Never mind! No! <laughs> that was just insane. <laughs> How did it get that? That was fucked up. He, he does like when you hit a fastball. Yeah, get, get wrecked, idiot. That's right. All right, three, three. Can we win? Can we win? Come on, hit it on the side. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. Woo! <laughs> oh, easy shot. <laughs> that's how, that's right. And they say AI, AI will take over the humans, huh? Not if I have anything to say about it, you peas. <laughs> Oh my god, I've, I've got it down now. Do I? Oh no, oh no. That was just a bad shot. Why is he shaking so hard? You see this? Alright, you're just bad. You're just bad. Mad cause bad. <laughs> Wait, you can go underneath them. What the fuck? What are you doing? Uh oh, uh oh. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit, that's so fast. I'm bullying the AI. Hey, I, is this ever ending? Get fucked. Get fucked! <laughs> That's right, bitch. All right, can I get out of here? Can I get out of here? I'm just, no, I can't play the game while looking at- I have a friggin' what? Get me out of here. Help. I don't wanna play anymore. All right, I'm gonna just head in now. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh yeah, bugs. Uh, quite a few bugs, huh? Wait, I have my inventory's full? That's because you organized it like an idiot. There you go. Okay. Can we find some stuff? We got new new things. We got completely new sightings. So the sightings are definitely generated at the start of every mission, and they're different every mission. And I need to go to them. I'm expecting. Now, I would love to find actually a fish or something. So we can uh, lure Nessie to the camera. That would be awesome. Or collect some audio evidence. I just haven't had any success with that. Wait, bubble, bubble, blah, blah, blah. Bubbles? Bubbles means fish, right? Or does it? Let's see. Let's place a cam. Is there fish down here? Come on. Let's see. I could place multiple cameras. I could do that too. Maybe Mess Nessie did that. That fish, what's that? Why is it so sideways? Oh, come on. There's nothing. It's actually the time of my computer, though. I like that detail. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I know that time. Okay, I'm gonna pick that up again. Can I please pick it up again? Pick it up. Sideways, it's just going down. I mean, it's literally laying on the bottom of the of the ocean, or of the the lake, I should say, not ocean. 
All right, it's just six degrees everywhere if you don't find a, a, a sign. 6.9, how nice. Okay, so let's, uh, let's actually go to one of these sightings, huh? Here we go. Because I don't think we're going to find something out there. I just, I was just looking because I heard the blah, blah, blah. Ember, thank you for the tier three, 12 months. Thank you for that full year. Thank you. Oh, no. It, the controls are so fucked up, man. I was just holding the backwards button. And now I'm standing on water. I'm not even swimming right now. It's the boat is literally spinning in front of me. Why? What is going on? I didn't do anything. I was just moving. What's this boat doing? Like, at least give the player the option to fucking flip the boat back. If your game is so fucked up, it can't keep the boat straight for like two seconds. Just let the player fix the game by clicking a button. Oh, well, the boat's gone. Like, I genuinely love it when this stuff happens. Like, I'm, I, it's a good game when it works. That's the thing. But it just has so many issues that where it doesn't work. So I want to see this game with, like, preventing all these feature, features from happening. Where I just, like, fall in the water and I'm literally just dying and nothing happens. Like, please. There could be, like, that when we started finding the monster... And we saw the skeleton boat and stuff like that and Nessie in the distance like that was really good But like there's nothing you can do because you can't move the boat. You can't uh, Influence the way it rocks. There's nothing you can do about it All right, I'm gonna try one more time because I really want to see some more stuff Plant your fish trap in areas with over 50% concentrated sea trap. You're literally lying I know you're lying because this tip is from the previous patch because in the update they said they removed the fish trap so they fucking left in the tip even though they removed the fish trap item stupid video game <laughs> the game is lying the lies okay come on come on what are realistic controls? It's like fucked up controls. It's like if you want to die even more than I already am controls. If you want to hate this game even more, <laughs> it's fine. Like I'm try I'm just trying to make some fun out of the out of fun out of the situation because obviously this is kind of unacceptable. <laughs> like all jokes aside, releasing a game like this and asking twelve dollars for it is like should be a federal crime. <laughs> like what the fuck. It's early access, you get what you get. It's literally non-functional. Like, it's not functional. Because the thing is that, like, early access is not an excuse anymore in current day. Because there's no, like, there's no, like, requirement to early access. So every game does early access nowadays. So the good games do early access, the bad games do early access. It's just a meaningless title. Anyway, here we go. Let's see if we can get the boat to the location we want without everything exploding. Come on. I wish there was a way to... Oh my god, it, it sources properly. I wish there was a way to fix the boat when it goes upside down. Like, that is my main complaint right now, because there's almost nothing you can do to f prevent your boat from going upside down or just, like, disappearing into the ether. So I wish the boat was just a little bit more stable so I wouldn't have this problem. Because you have to go far. Like, it's a, it's a long journey. And then to lose all your progress by just flipping over the boat without anything you can do about it. It's just really frustrating. Uh, okay. We're gonna go down this path. Go, go, go. Too fast, maybe? The thing is that it's really hard to see how fast you're going as well, because the w you have no like reference point it's just water which is fine like that's the way the game's supposed to work which is why i don't understand it's so punishing like i think the main thing i would recommend to any game developer don't make your game too hard i think the only game that was too hard at the start that pulled it off well is like phasmo phasmo and like welcome to the game or something because those games are way too hard like unreasonably hard uh but I guess for the same reason, Welcome to the Game didn't become a very successful game when it comes to sales. I didn't do anything, but I almost flipped over. 
Uh, oh, bubbly blubbish. Bubbly blubbly blubbish. Does that mean I can fish here? SCP containment breach is very hard. The thing with the game being very hard is you need to have like some form of progress. Because the thing here is that if you if you row down to the middle of the lake and you flip over, there was like nothing you did. There was no progress whatsoever. Uh, but I think like the, the reason why I'm still playing is because I think the game is like surprisingly good like in terms of uh what it tries to do it's just that it needs like it needs just a solid like few months of nothing but bug fish fixing like the devs just gotta sit down strap in just crack those knuckles and just tap it up it up it up it up it up away on the bugs and once all the bugs are fixed and the boat doesn't flip over every second and you can fix your boat when it's upside down like you got you got something like real cool here because I, I think the gameplay is just it's just like really slow which is fine what the fuck like the gameplay being slow is fine we know that works from games like conrad Stevens this paranormal pi like games having slow gameplay is totally acceptable I just was just starting to fish because I heard the blah blah blubs. Uh oh. Is that good? There's blubbies there. This means there must be fish, right? Come on. I really want to catch a fish. Please. Fish! Nasty hunts me. That's definitely true in this in this one. Used to camera. But when I had blubbies before, I did not see fish underwater, but that really seemed like a fish. Come on. Fish time. There's a fish here. You don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Give me that fish. Gustavo Ma Major. Thank you for the four months. Alright, maybe no fish. Maybe I am just baiting myself. But, uh oh, oh. I boat moved. Okay, let's, uh, Let's equip this and place it. Uh oh, see this. Turn to the game, please. Thank you. And then look. Are there fish down here? Fish, 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 fishy, 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 fishy. Maybe there's no fish, huh? Maybe there's no fish. Okay. Well, no fish then, huh? Guess I was incorrect. Why my eyes? Oh my god, the, you mean the boy? <laughs> yes. You have the last of phobia. Why am I watching this shit? Don't watch. <laughs> I mean, this game is gonna mess you up if you got that. Okay, we're gonna go down to the, one of these sightings. Uh oh, don't do it. Don't do it. No, stop shaking. The boy is visible from space. Yes. Take it slow. I'm literally going like so slow on the map. Can you die in this game? Oh boy, yes you can. We have done nothing but dying. I need a bigger boat, man. No! Oh, what the fuck? You see? I was not going fast. I was not going fast. I was literally slowing down to move it. It's so fucked up. Why? Why make it so messed up, man? Come on! I want to actually do something. <laughs> so annoying. Hey, Cena, by the way. Buy a smaller map. There's no map, right? Wait, is there a map select? It's ridiculous how often that happens. Yeah. Why can't you just flip it back over? I don't know. Like, that would be so good if you could. That would be so good if, the, if you could just flip over the boat. Like, that would fix all the issues. Okay. Okay. Please. Please. Solo expedition. Start game. Uh, yes. Shark? Wait, I can't even select this, though. Why is it? Why are these options here if you can't select it? <laughs> Wait a minute. I've been lied to.
Like, I wonder if anyone has ever beaten this game. I don't think so. Could we be world's first? World's first to get Nessie? It's, it's like, literally harder to get Nessie in this game than it is to do it in real life. And Nessie doesn't even exist, so that tells you a lot. <laughs> Press G, man. Wait, what's G? What was in the tutorial? We played the tutorial. I'm a proud Nessie believer. It just... Are you though? Is that like that's like believing the earth is flat to me? <laughs> you play poker with Nessie on Saturdays? Am hot. Thank you for the eight months. Okay, we're back. Please, for the love of God, just give me a functional boat. I will be so happy. All right, we take all of this stuff. Why don't we shoot a few times for fun, huh? I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna burn that whole forest down. Woo <laughs> so bright. Holy shit. <laughs> this is so fucked up. I'm making such a mess. They're gonna be like, what the hell is going on here? Okay, I flashed him. Now, what else do I want? I don't want the fight. I don't want this anymore. I want the audio. Yes, please. And the fishing rod. And bye. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this mess behind. <laughs> the poor Nessie. It's so loud, too. I right, just go. <laughs> Get me out of here. Okay. The world is on fire. <laughs> That's actually cool, though. All right. So, where do we gotta go? We gotta go, we're basically in a straight, no, not in a straight line at all. We gotta go a little bit more to the side, yes. Now we go straight line back, and please don't flip the boat. Please, whatever you do, do not flip the boat. Do not flip it. No, uh uh Okay, we go slower, there's no like speed control. Like, if I feel like, I feel like it's bugged. Like, I know you guys are telling me like, oh, don't go too fast, it's making it happen. But they would tell you that in the tutorial, right? I don't think they tell, told me that in the tutorial at all. That I have to like, be very careful that to not flip over. Come on. I feel like the flipping is not intended. I feel like the boat is just doing whatever it wants to do. Oh, we're getting there. Boom. They just told me not to drown. Yeah, that's a good tip. That's like, just, just don't drown forehead. Oh, oh, wait a minute. This is actually super useful. I didn't even realize you could do that. You can, oh, what the fuck? Who's that guy? <laughs> Who was that guy? And what is he doing in my boat? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, this is unplayable. Well, uh, I tried my best. I tried my best. I tried my best. It was genuinely scary. It was genuinely scary at times. And I would love to see this game be worked out. Like, as in, like, fixed. Because this, which, it's definitely better. Which is crazy to say. It's definitely better than it was when I first played it. Because when I first played it, the game genuinely wasn't functional. Like, whatsoever. But now, it is playable to a certain degree. But there's just so many bugs with the boat that it's like basically means you can't do anything. Like before you can get anything done, the boat flips over and you're just being reset over to zero. So yeah, I would love to see that because I think the ideas here are great. I think the ideas here are great. I just want to see it work as intended. Make sure we can flip over the boat when it's like this so we can just fix the boat. Uh, you don't die immediately because it's just it doesn't make any sense like obviously you could play this with friends And then your friends can save you but if everyone just flips over all the time Is there really any fun to be had probably not although we did see the good parts of this game we saw like Nessie the skeleton boat like this stuff was really cool. So I would love to see that so let me know what you think uh, Have you tried I, I don't, know if there, don't know if there's a lot of people playing this game I think the idea is really cool, and I would love to see it worked out developers if you're watching Keep at it. I know I've been very critical, but that's just because I think the ideas are cool. Like, it's not like a shitty knockoff game that is like, 
just like not worth anyone's time. I think this is a cool game with cool ideas that just needs to be fixed. The bugs need to be fixed. The movement of the boat needs to be fixed. And then you can have a really cool product here that I would very gladly play again. So yeah, uh, I hope you're working on it. And I hope you guys had a fun time uh, being a little frustrated with me. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. Every single day at 7 p.m. Century EP and that. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye, YouTube. We got perfect, perfect amount of time. I'm just going to alter for this game. I don't want to watch the loading screen to go back to the main menu. Um... Can I alt F4? Oh, the game does not allow me to alt F4. Press G? Press G? Oh, wait, maybe? Wait, can I fix the boat by G? Because if that's a thing... It didn't say it in the controls. If you can press the boat by G, then why didn't they put that in the controls? Wait, am I just blind? Wait, what? Why would they put such an important control not in... Wait... Am I just blind? Did we all- We all looked at the controls. We all looked at the controls and no one saw that? Wait. Hello? Okay, well, let's head in. I d now I want to try again. Wait, did we all look at it? Why wouldn't they put that in the controls? Uh, this is such a troll. This is a troll, but let's try. I want to see. Wait, why would they put that in the controls? Vandalin, thank you for the eight months. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna flip over the boat and see if I can fix it. Why wouldn't they put such an important keybind? If that's not correct, I if that is correct, I'm even more mad. Like if it's just a troll from chat, well done. Like whatever. But if it's like actually flipping the boat, is there's a button for that and they didn't put it in the fucking controls, or did they explain it in the tutorial? <laughs> that's like the dumbest shit of all time. Okay, come on. It could be a troll. Please be troll. Please be a troll. Don't... That would be so dumb. Press G, my G. We're gonna go. Come on. You can recall the boat at the dock. Yeah, that's not what we need, though. Because we die in the out in the open. That's the problem. Oh, so my god, the load. Okay, here we go. Wait, can you flip the boat? This is very important information. Oh, no. G is just a fart in someone's face. Okay, yeah, that's just farting. <laughs> There's emotes, apparently. <laughs> okay, that's not the right button. <laughs> that stings, dude. Okay, can I flip it? Wait, I cannot walk on this boat right now. Okay, let's see. We're gonna flip the boat, which is literally just me going backwards for like a few moments. We're gonna flip it just fine and then see if we can restore it with buttons. We're gonna click all the buttons on the keyboard and see if we can fix it. Come on. Fart. What am I doing? What is the- You can do emotes while- Clappy clap! How are you clapping like that? What the fuck? <laughs> Imagine it doesn't flip. Now, I would actually be totally fine with that. That would be amazing. We just gotta ask for flips, then it doesn't flip. Okay, we're literally going straight line to a place. Well, we don't have any items, though. Which is problematic, because I just wanted to flip. It's fine. The boat's gonna... If it doesn't flip right now, even though it literally flipped five times in a row without me doing anything whatsoever, that would be so fucking stupid. I didn't do shit. Okay. Do a flip. Oh. I'm scared. Now it'll work. It's just when you least want it, it works. It didn't turn this time. I genuinely... It just turned. I'm racing. I'm racing. Wait, I'm actually going so fast now. What the fuck? I mean, he reached the other other part of the lake. Uh oh. And we reached the back of the lake. Oh my god, it's shaking so fast. That would be a fish spot, right? I feel like it's gotta be. Unless it's just... Oh, no. That's just for no reason. It would be so cool if there were buttons. To oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep, there you go. All right, we, f we we managed to correctly flip the boat. Now, G. Let me fart real quick. Let me clap real quick. Clap, 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 clap. Good job, Gabe. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. <laughs> Let me thumbs up real quick. Yeah. <laughs>
punishment that finger. What's with your pointer finger? Look at that pointer. Look at the index finger. What the fuck? That's fucked up. What the hell? The fingers are so fucked. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, at least we tried. At least we, let me let me do a little thumbs down for you. Nah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we're doing. Uh, Con receives the spare normal PI now. Let's go. Holy shit. Jesus. Jeevity Christmas. What a fuck, man. I actually think that game could be so cool. That is such a shame. I don't understand how that happens. I'm so I'm so confused how that stuff happens. Because that is such a cool idea. And then it's just, like, executed so poorly. That's such a shame. Well, it's not even executed poorly. It's just the game is just non-functional. Uh, okay. Here we go. New... Well, it's the same new update. New research... Update. Conrad... Stevenson's paranormal PI. Yes, yes. Okay. Conrad, so quiet. Conrad Stevenson's paranormal PI. Okay, here we go. So, to give you a little context, this is going to be slow because they actually changed the game to make it even more slow than it used to be. So, we're going to be struggling to get ghost activity, but we'll find some. And then it's going to be extra satisfying. And there's all kinds of new stuff in the game, which is going to be a lot of fun to, tri to tinker with. But let's say hi, YouTube first. Let's go say hi, YouTube. Let's research some ghosts and have a good time. Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome back to Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. If you've watched the last video, you know that the developers, the, the single, single developer has done an absolutely massive update for this game. I don't know how he does it, but he keeps uh, releasing new content over and over again at such a high pace that is like unbelievable to me as a single dev. So yeah, they're working really hard over there and they've created an absolutely wonderful experience here. In this new update that they released, they have added a recent research system to the game where you have to research the history of the map to figure out what type of ghosts are there where the ghosts are uh, what they're gonna do you have to record audio from the ghost which you can then go back to the base to replay the audio to figure out what it is saying you can slow it down speed it up there's some really cool stuff here that i cannot wait to see expanded upon in future updates this update has just revamped the whole game and really showed what this game will be in the future and how many cool things are about to come so yeah in this update we're gonna continue what we did last time last time we went to the small maps and we f figured out a bunch of information about the ghosts there however we did not go to the church map at all which is what we're gonna do this episode we're gonna go to the church where which there are tons of ghosts there to find we're gonna see what they got to offer we're gonna try and find them in the first place because it's gonna be pretty difficult because they have reduced the ghost activity by a lot more especially early on before you start researching the uh the notes and stuff about the map it's gonna be even harder to find evidence so yeah i hope you join me for that it's gonna be a long one it's gonna be a good time and we're gonna chill find some ghosts and i hope you join us if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it but let's not waste any more time on the top into the game let's go boom all righty well here we are so last time let me see i i need to be readjusted to this so last time we went to the uh, so this is all new by the way if you've watched conrad series paranormal pi recently you are like what the hell is going on you now get emails which give you like uh, a bunch of information about the map and then you can go over to these emails which you can highlight stuff like footsteps coming from upstairs you can click that and then you have footsteps upstairs as a little piece of note or as a note that you add to your uh well note file here you can go man appeared in the garage uh, you can go choking sounds, etc. So you can click these notes and then when you go into the map, you're gonna find this evidence so you can figure out more about the ghost. So uh, if you have more than no more notes, like the you can only carry six notes at the time. So if you want to explore more, you have to do multiple investigations because it's not just the email that you have to look for, but there's also uh, the archive, which is information about the map, such as who bought the house at what time, uh stuff like what is this Remo remodeling of the house uh created activity from the ghost 
Uh, many families means many memories. We found a picture at one point. Liz seemed so happy. So you can click on that. Maybe get a ghost photo easily, uh, easier. Uh, such a sad faith. fate. Oh, no. Died of tuberculosis. No. So stuff like that. You can uh, investigate the house. This is what we found in the map. We found these notes to which added to our investigation, which was really cool. So if you want to see that one, I'll link it over in the top right where we investigated Evergreen Lane and Polk Street. You know what? Actually, did we finish everything on these maps? Let's see. How did we do with the ghost? Because you can go over here. Uh, exit the PC. Interact button. Uh, you can go over here. Also, there's a sprint now in this game, by the way. They added a sprint, which is really nice. Uh, you can go over here and you can see... So this ghost, we got almost everything. This is the child ghost. We got all of the investigation photo uh, and not all the audio. So there's still a little bit of audio left. We definitely didn't do everything here. This ghost is almost entirely unseen. We have barely any of the audio. We have barely anything of the... of the. We have no photo as well. So we should probably go back there at one point. The small screen... Wait, what? Oh, whoopsie daisy. It's a baby screen. It's a small screen. Let me enlarge it. Sorry, I was focusing. Uh, boom. Why is it small? I don't understand. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, we have. Wait, let me. I, I'm out of the. I'm out of the loop now. Okay. Uh, Polk Street is the other map, which we found almost everything about this grandpa ghost, which was very sad. I think the history of this grandpa was that the the wife died, and then the grandpa was just so sad that he eventually, I think, took his own life or just died of sadness, which was... Either way, not a good fate. Uh, and then this is the boy in blue, which we didn't find much about yet. So yeah, there's still lots to explore, which is really cool that you can figure that out. There's also events that they're going to add later, but here we have not found anything yet. So the church on Spruce Street has been complete, uh, or has been completely revamped, and it's unexplored for us as of now. So let's check what kind of data we have about that map. Let's see. So the church on Spruce Street. Let's lead, read the email we got. Mr. Conrad Stevenson. I'm writing you from the Congressional Congregate Cron Oh my god, again. Congregational Church on Spruce Street. I can read. As you may already know, our church has developed quite a reputation for paranormal activity. Parish members have long recounted stories of spirits haunting the church and surrounding grounds. I myself have heard countless rumors of shadows and apparition sightings throughout the grounds, and I've seen candles and lights flicker on and off without manipulation. From what I heard, from what I have gathered, all accounts point to a sinister cast of spirits haunting our property. There have been rumors of a lost reverend, a pair of red eyes glaring from the shadows, an elusive lady in white, an apparition only known as Mr. Siegerstein, an unholy cult in the woods, and a resentful angel in the mausoleum. Word of these hauntings has long tarnished our church's reputation, but I've decided to take it upon myself to rebuild our humble holy image. I would like to welcome you to investigate our church and the associated grounds to determine if these stories have any merit to them. Normally, I would never turn to a source outside the church, but I've heard much about your work and think you may be our best hope. We can accommodate an investigation almost any day of the week, but please come in secret after nightfall. I can't have the parishion parishioners know that the rumors may be true, even if they really are. For obvious reasons, I would like to refrain from facilitating... Uh, an investigation on Saturday night. Let us know your availability and we will gladly facilitate any needed setup. I look forward to your response with warm regard past with warm regards Pastor Harold Rogers. Okay. Well, there you go. So in this email there's a few notes, not too many actually. There's only three notes. We have the lost reverend Mr. Siegerstein is a ghost, <laughs> and we have the angel in the mausoleum. So, let's see. And then we can go to the archives as well, which, if I remember, yeah, we took a look at this. There is so much stuff here. So, currently, I think they... I was talking about this with the dev. Currently, there is... Uh, not every ghost is activated yet. So this Legends of the Wood Ghosts is not activated yet. But I think we're going to focus on just one of these. Let me click on this. Investigate the church. Mr. S was the groundkeeper, Mr. Siegerstein. Then we have Pierre has a reason to stay. And what's this? Unsettled souls in the graveyard. Okay. So what do we have? North Cemetery. Man, there's so much lore here. So I'm going to read these. But if you want to skip through that, uh, you can uh, you can skip. I will link the timestamps in the bottom. Uh, you can click to when we start hunting. But there's going to be a lot of lore involved as well. So if you don't want that, you can skip to the gameplay. But if you want to get some extra lore, here we go. North 
Cemetery. Although the town of New Ed Eidolon was founded in the mid 17th century, century the oldest establishment in uh, oldest establishment in the history district were built in the following century. All of the original settlements were destroyed during the native raids of the late 17th century, forcing the town folks to migrate across the river and north to higher ground. This secured a more defensible position against the native attacks. Consequently, as, a, as the death toll rose, bodies were buried under what is now the cemetery on Spruce Street. The lands where the cemetery resides, or the land where the cemetery resides, is perhaps the oldest construction within the town. The graves closest to the front gate have long eroded away their epitaphs and are the oldest, dating at the dawn of the 18th century. This time was challenging for the town's residents, and no doubt there are unsettled souls still lingering about. So we can go to the uh, to the souls in the graveyard. That's what we have to investigate. So that's one of our notes. And the other one, the Fellowship of the Congregational Church of New Eidolon. Constru construction of the old of the fellowship of the Congregational Church of New Eidolon was finalized in 1763. This was a trying time for New Eidolon's various faithful communities, and it was further strained by the church's construction. Families and friends were torn apart due to differing religious convictions. The new movement of evangel evangelicism was aggressively challenging the old strict traditions of the Puritans. It is unclear why the decision to build this church was made, but the after effects are undeniable. Uh, construction immediately forced families to confront their religious differences. Every Sunday, the community would see the, with which church different people would attend. Individuals not aligned with their family's faith were outcast. While ne neither church condoned violence, many physical disputes occurred. The Congregational Church's first reverend was a, was a great healing force for this disturbance. Within the first decade of the, the, his ministry, uh, the community was again one large family. However, all quickly changed when the war for independence broke out. New Eidolon supply chains used to maintain all aspects of life was destroyed. In order to salvage the town, many folks migrated to the south, uh, south to the settlement of their forefathers. The proximity to the sea allowed for an exp expedited reconstruction of the township, which is where the historical district is located today. The migration exacerbated the strain felt by the few who chose to stay and ultimately led to the utter decomposition of the church. So what was that one again? That is investigate the church. All right, we're going to investigate the church. Then we have groundskeeper's residence. There are but rumors, but when this church structure was erected, not much more than not much more than a shack. It has surprisingly stood in its timeless state for about 150 years. After the War for Independence reconstruction period ended, the church needed a permanent res pres presence tending to the grounds. The reverend at the time enlisted the Siegerstein family as the groundkeepers. Records indicate the Siegerstein family moved into the residence on the property, implying that the structure was already there. Nothing of this building is noted prior to this event, hence why its origin, origin is unclear. Not only did the Siegerstein family ensure the church was, a tip, was in tip-top shape, but they also dug graves for their family and f friends and family members. This created an unbreakable relationship between the Siegerstein family and the property. For generations, their family maintained this role. In the late 1950s, however, the church determined it was more cost-effective to pay a local contractor to maintain things as needed than to support a family all year long to do the work. Shortly after the church evicted the family, they determined the groundskeeper's residence was interesting enough to declare a historical site and started charging for guided tours. This idea helped sustain a neut neutral balance sheet for the church's groundskeeper's fees to the contractor. After years of tours, many have reported experiencing un unexplainable happenings. A mausoleum for the few. So this, this is the... What is this? This is Mr. S was the groundskeeper. Uh, a mausoleum for the few. As the community of New Eidolon embraced the future moving into the 20th century, the wealthier citizens thought it best to, to be remembered for all eternity. In the 1890 in 1894, uh, wait, one second. I'm just like, how do you play this game? Can we? So this is too much. Like this is not working. This is too much. How do you play this game now? Do we just restart and only read one of these stories? Like I can't keep this all in my mind. No one can. I'm just trying to figure out how this is supposed to be played. Do we like, I think we just read one of them. I think we just gotta, I don't think we can, like this is not a YouTube video. This doesn't work. This doesn't work for stream. This doesn't work for YouTube. I think we can read this. Man, I'm just having such a rough time with this new update, figuring out how to play it. Cause it is just not like, 
there's just too much information. Uh, Angel in the Mausoleum. I guess we could click all of these and then maybe only re read one of them. Because it's just a lore overload. There's way too much at once. Like, maybe we just focus on one of these ghosts and then go in. Maybe we do that. It's, I kind of want to just, like, oh, man. I, I don't know how to play this game anymore. I don't know how to... Uh, it's just reading. It's just only reading. Focus on one. Do we just restart the whole thing? I think we got to go back to the title screen and do like a little little reset. You guys get to see some behind the scenes. I think we got to go do a, a re-high YouTube because this shit is not working. <laughs> we got to go rewind real quick because this is not... This is too much. I don't know what I'm even reading about reading anymore because it's just too much information. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on just one uh story i we don't have to do a high youtube because we already did a high youtube we could just continue from here and then uh just focus on where we gotta go all right so uh warning first off uh there's a lot to this game there's a lot to this game now if you haven't seen it before let me go to the computer there are so many uh things you can read now which if you watch last episode you've got read, read us go through the first house which you get an email now which gives you a little bit of information about the first house for example this one this was the first house the second house gave us an email which every time you get one of these emails you can uh, hover over the text in the email click on something which will then give you a little note and if you then go investigate this place it will give this evidence so you can click on all of these man appeared in the garage if you then go investigate the garage you can see this man which is how the game is supposed to be played now the church works a little different so if you saw the first episode that all seems very clear but if you've uh um played the game yourself and got to the church you might have been a little overwhelmed which i have been overwhelmed several times now if you watch this on the stream you know i've had a rough time figuring out how to play the church because the church just has so much lore all at once that you have no idea how to approach this because if you look at this every single map has like uh note notes that like give you information about the property so for example in this case you have uh what when it was sold when it was bought for the first house you have a uh department inspection you have a remodeling a sheet you have uh another property history file you have a photo that you can find in the in the house or so stuff like that so you find lore in the house uh which is how you get these notes however if you look at the church look at the church you have an absolute buttload of lore so we have read all of this and it is uh very interesting so but it's just too much to go in all at once because you'll be literally overloaded with lore so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna go in one ghost at a time so we're gonna check out the email i'm gonna read it for you and then we're gonna investigate one of the three ghosts that are currently in the church instead of trying to do them all at once because we would literally not know where to start and where to go at all so let's go Mr. Conrad Stevensons, I'm writing to you from the Congregational Church on Spruce Street. As you may already know, our church has developed quite a reputation for paranormal activity. Parish members have long recounted stories of spirits haunting the church and the surrounding grounds. I myself have heard countless rumors of shadows and apparition sightings throughout the grounds. And I've seen candles and lights flicker on and off without manipulation. From what I have gathered, all accounts point to a sinister cast of spirits haunting our property. There, may, there have been rumors of a lost reverend, which you can click on, the lost reverend, a pair of red eyes glaring from the shadows, an elusive lady in white, an apparition only known as Mr. Siegerstein, an unholy cult in the woods, and a resentful angel in the mausoleum. So these ghosts, or these notes can be clicked on. So these are the three ghosts you can investigate, which is a little different from how it worked in the other maps. In the other maps, you would click on specific events, so stuff like this. You would click on footsteps upstairs and not like a singular ghost whereas here you can investigate all three of these ghosts which i'm pretty sure that if you click on one of these notes you activate them and then you can go to the to the church and you can investigate all of these different ghosts so now let's see i'm gonna focus on because i think uh let's see i think the angel in the mausoleum is the coolest ghost when it comes to its lore it's also probably the longest lore but it is definitely the most interesting one so we're gonna check that out i'm gonna read the lore for you and we're gonna try and investigate the angel in the mausoleum a mausoleum for the few as the community of new eidolon embraced a future moving into the 20th century the wealthier citizens thought it best to be remembered for all eternity in 1894 pierre lefebvre lefebvre i don't know lefe 
uh, was commissioned to design and manage construction of the mausoleum. Throughout construction, everything went as planned. And in 1895, work was completed. But once community members started to assume residency, controversy arose. It was clear that the only the, the elite could afford to be buried here. There was one instance in 1901 when a family had the money to bear their, bury their loved ones within the mausoleum, but was denied a spot. The family was not very wealthy and had no co connection to any royal po loyal local politician. This sparked outrage and resulted in vandalism to the structure. Throughout the next few years, hired security for the mausoleum was employed, which only deepened the divide about this issue. Since security were on site day and night, pr protesting citizens could not vandalize as they would previously. Instead, they would have leave lit candles on the ledges of the entombed. The cemetery allowed candles to be placed at gravesides, so it was hard to manage who was doing what. Once the lit candles had burned itself out, a mess a mess of dried wax usually engulfed the personal items left on the ledge, disrespecting the entombed elite. Although not very destructive, the gesture was symbolic of the lower class community members disgusted with the situation. In 1905, a compromise was reached with the community where the outside gardens were replaced with tombs, which an, uh, anyone who had the money could be which allowed anyone who had the money to be buried. This decision squelched the issue. Additionally, Crypts were created just south of the mausoleum after the incident in 1901 to provide a more lavish burial for those who could afford it. Mr. Lefebvre, unfortunately, was deeply associated with cla class segregation and was never able to establish his reputation as desired. He tried his best to distance himself from, from it in hopes to benefit his career. I ironically, after Lefebvre and his wife has passed... Have and his wife passed away in 1908. They were both entombed in a white marble sarcophagus right at the entrance of the mausoleum. The elite of the community felt they wanted to honor Mr. Lefebvre for creating such a marvelous final resting place, regardless of his feeling on the matter. Unfortunately, Mr. and Mrs. Lefebvre were middle-aged and died unexpectedly in a carriage accident. The Lefebvre fa family had no children and no one knew any next of kin, so their wishes could not be communicated. The first documented case of paranormal activity in the mausoleum occurred in 1911. It was noted that a few candles were mysteriously placed and lit on the ledges of some of the entombed residents. Or some of the entombed residents. This phenomenon has occurred irregularly ever since. Skeptics, of course, simply believe that local kids light the candles as an ongoing prank. Intermittently throughout the years, Folk have seen apparitions within the mausoleum as well as outside within the gated area. This has further fueled the idea that the mausoleum is haunted. So the ghost of the person who made the tomb is now haunting the tomb to further the protests that the citizens were doing on the tomb, which is very cool. So that is going to be the ghost that we're going to focus on. Pierre has a reason to stay. Now, I'm also going to click just in case. I'm going to click on investigate the church and unsettled souls in the graveyard in case we want to investigate that later. But let's head in now because that's enough lore for one day. Uh, let's head in and see if we can find this uh, church man or the mausoleum man and see what we can get. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, let's go. Boink. Let's do it. I think maybe we just... I don't even know. This shit's fucked. Oh, I'm what gonna lag. I'm lagging. To investigate this location at night. There's quite a history here pertaining to the paranormal. I'm very grateful Pastor Rogers reached out, although I'm not sure what he'll think if I find some evidence. Regardless, Pastor Rogers was concerned enough about what he and his parish members have seen to reach out. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. I just fixed. One FPS. Yeah, the uh, the the frames drop whenever you load into this map. I feel like there should be a little longer loading screen instead of it starting the game that early. But anyway, so here we are. We have arrived on the map. Uh, there is so much to this map. There is uh, a church right here, which is the main building of the place, which if you've watched me play on this map before, you've seen me. Can I turn on my flashlight? You've seen me investigate this uh, church several times because there is actually two ghosts in here. Can I turn on this flashlight? Can I turn on this light, please? Hello? There you go. Um, there is two ghosts in the church. There is both a shadow ghost, which I don't know if these ghosts are still here, by the way, because they changed the way the game worked now. So 
Uh, there's a shadow ghost that can walk on the uh, on the balcony over there. It can walk through the church and look at you and scream at you, I think. Uh, and there's also a, uh, I think that's the lost reverend who walks back here and can uh, get into the church as well. So both of... What a rare experience to take a photo of a ghost. What the fuck? Excuse me. You're not supposed to be here already. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. Hello? Excuse me. Can I talk to you? Can I investigate? EMF? Why are you not disappearing? Wait, what the hell? I was just ch I was just chilling. It's definitely a residual because it didn't respond to me at all. That was what the fuck? That was way too early. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to start slow. Well, there you go. Uh, you can definitely find some evidence in here. So, I mean, maybe we should stick around here instead. We can go to the mausoleum a little later, but this ghost seemed to be very active. We already got a freaking photo. What the heck? Wait, that's crazy. That, that is... Wait, who was that? That was probably the Lost Reverend, I think. Because didn't they say... Because uh, that... Oh, there it is again. What the fuck? Wait, I'm going to get EMF. EMF? No? What the hell? This goes this goes crazy. It's everywhere. That is so much activity. I'm not used to that. I thought we were gonna chill, but no, I guess. Uh, I wonder if there's also the other ghost at the moment. I'm a little spooked now. Well, are they gonna believe me? I think they they should believe me. I literally got two. I mean, I didn't take the second ghost photo because there was no point for it. What the fuck? That's crazy. Uh, turn this on to normal units. Uh, that's a little wild. Oh, here we go. No, that's just the outside. Bada bing, bada boom. These temperature fluctuations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they're normal. normal. Can I find any abnormal ones though? Man, I feel like, dude. I don't know. I, just... I don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. I, I'm just starting to play this game, and I'm like, no, I don't want to play this game. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry, guys. I just don't want to play this game. It's just not really striking my fancy at the moment. I don't know. I, th I think we might just wait for them to really work out the... I think we're just going to play some Phasmo. I don't know what it is today. I think I got really thrown off by Loch Ness just sucking so much ass. And then this game is just, like, way too slow right, right now. Uh, it's just... I don't know. There's just so much to read. I just don't know what to, where to make the cuts and stuff. It's just so fucked up, man. I don't understand Conrad Stevens' Paranormal. At least that map. The rest of the... The rest of the maps are so cool... That map, I just can't figure out anymore. I just don't know how to play it. I just don't know how to play it. So yeah, we're gonna just chill with some Phasma. We need the power level to level 10k and anyway. I just, maybe I just got a Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI burnout. I don't know what it is. Like, the game just doesn't feel right for me anymore. Uh, grinding to level 10k. Here we go. Bada bing. We, do, we don't do speedruns this time. Level 10, level 10,000k? I think that's a little too high for me. It's just overwhelming now. I don't know what they... Like, like, I don't know how they could really fix it, though. Because it's just kind of... I don't know. It's just kind of too much. Like, I don't know how to play it anymore. Because I'm just like... How do you even react? It doesn't feel realistic. Even though they added more lore, it just doesn't feel realistic anymore to me. Because it's like... It just feels so so forced now. Instead of it being like a natural exploration, it doesn't feel forced. It doesn't feel normal anymore. Anyway... Let's play some Phasmo. We know Phasmo. We know Phasmo is going to treat us well. None of the other games. All right. So what are we going to do? Are we just going to... Let's play a few normal games. Man, I'm feeling really off today. I don't know what it is. Finally, out of the reading simulator. It just feels like it's a little too much text, maybe. All right. What do we got? We got Richard Cordero. Uh, my mouse sensitivity is a little fucked up. Maybe not. Oh, mouse sensitivity is still one. What the heck? Casual grinding 78 levels. Do you know that we leveled up like 40 levels yesterday? It's just one of those things. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Anyway, we got this. Phasmo will be fine. It was just way too much text. I think Conrad Stevens is paranormal PI. I think they just gotta rework the church. I think I think the I think the dev was a little too excited about the lore that he created for the church and just kind of forgot that it needs to be a game that you wanna like. Like, it, it, just the pacing is completely lost in the church map. Like, the pacing was just off. It's just, like, so much at once that you have nothing to, like... I don't know. You just... You just nothing to grasp onto. It's just so much all at once that you feel like you're kind of doing ten different things, but nothing, like, 
to you're not you're not going deep in on anything it's just like everything is like so it's wide as a as an ocean but deep as a puddle all right in terms of gameplay at least in terms of lore it's deep but in terms of gameplay it's not deep at all where are you are you here all righty easy peasy we're still gonna try and do perfect games by the way i know we did like a whole perfect game speed run yesterday but we're gonna just try and get some more They, got, they just gotta they just gotta give you one ghost at the time. I think that's the problem. I think the problem is that they give you all at once, which is just not the way that that the game should work in the new state. I think that's it. They should just start with the church, only give you the church file, and then after you do the church, the, the church goes like, okay, we know you're good at your job, so we're gonna give you more f files now, and then you're gonna uh, be able to. What the hell? You turn on the light you're going to be able to explore more of the of the ghosts instead of doing it all at once. Because it just doesn't feel right. All right, not, none of this. Progression, exactly. Are you still here? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? All right, hi there. Jeez, sewer, are they the 10 gift subs? Thank you. Thank you. All right, what was my cursed possession, by the way? I did not find it yet, I think. It's a summoning circle. I didn't find it because I immediately found the ghost. Have I ever played kindergarten? I have not. I've watched uh, MatPat play it, though, I think. I don't know. That doesn't seem like my kind of game. Give up on Nessie? You have missed a lot. Well, a, a bunch. Nessie, the Loch Ness game? Honestly, man. It's both of the games where I'm like, there's so, I mean, it's kind of received as Paranormal PI, it's a different story, but Loch Ness, so much potential, just like wasted by bugs. That's the problem. Game title, didn't I? Yes, I did. I did. Gator done, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Okay, salt. Bada bing. Uh, and I could just smudge you. I need to get a ghost event and I need to escape the ghost. All right, we'll bring in a... We'll bring in this one. So what the fuck? <laughs> G Sewer and Monkey with the five gifts of both. Are you guys are you guys doing a battle of some sort? What the fuck? What's going on? Iondas, thank you for the five months as well. Alright, I'm gonna do the summoning circle now, because I feel like it. Also, is it EMF? It is not EMF, at least not now. Are you gonna give me that? Orbs, maybe? Did I even check properly for orbs? I don't know if I did. Thank you, Gator Dad. Oh, wait. That was far away. Uh huh. You got Phasmo the other day. Imagine being able to play this game from the beginning. It's a journey. Wait. Never mind. I thought it was a wraith for a second. It's a journey you're about to unfold on that I wish I could relive as well. Uh oh. Did I get the bone yet? I did get the bone. Wait, we got the perfect game. I didn't even... I oh, honestly messed up. I took one too many photos. Or I didn't even pay attention to it, but I got lucky. Okay, here we go. Do I need to smudge? I do need to escape the ghost during a hunt. So let's just leave this stuff here. You're borderline tearing up with that one? What do you mean? Oh, about the... <laughs> playing Phasma for the first time? You know what? We might actually do something really fun this Sunday. This Sunday, it's Sunday, right? It's the 18th, if I recall correctly, if I have the right date in my head, uh, which is the four year anniversary. Gee, sure, thank you for the two more gift subs. It is the uh, four year, did I say four year? I meant two year anniversary of Phasmo, uh, which what I think would be fun to do for that is to... Oh, oh, oh. wait, it's a deal? It's a deal. All right then. Well, luckily I have a smudge because I would have been so dead. Um, it's, what would be fun to do is to go back to the the original build of Phasmophobia the day it came out. You know how we played on that a little while ago? Uh, like quite a while ago. Uh, I think we did like we did only one stream on it, so I thought we'd go back and play on the on the first release version of Phasmophobia. And just like compare it to the current state of the game. Because the game is just so changed now. Alright, this one is stupid. A Theo. 
I just thought I didn't ha don't have to do anything. Wait, yeah, because it's writing. Yeah, okay. Well, bye! He is very slow. Ends a perfect game too, right? Or... Yep, because the ghost event from the summoning circle. Maybe CJ. What if we do multiplayer? I don't think I can get CJ. Maybe! Maybe I could get a... What if we did like a full dev team somehow? Like DK... I have to see. That would be interesting. All on the old patch. I don't know if the servers still work though. It might not work. Maybe. Dio. There you go. Perfect. Perfect game in six minutes. Why? Why does this happen when I don't even want it to happen? What the fuck is going on? Remember, yesterday I was trying so hard to speedrun and it was I was struggling so much to actually get anything to get perfect games and now I just got one without even trying. I mean, I guess it was a deal. But anyway, here we are. Sarah Williams, salt candle, and escape the question. Is this server? I thought one does the host. I mean, the game has servers across the world, yes. But, like, if you play on an older version of the game, it's a little wonky. I don't know how that works with the servers, because obviously you're not doing, like, peer to peer. Oh, wait, I heard that. Hello? Hello? Wait, where was that? That was somewhere. Maybe not here. I thought I heard something drop. Maybe I'm a little crazy. Let's see. Out here. What we could do, you know what? That would actually be kind of fun. What if we do the ghost gambling again? It's not the best way to get experience though, but it could be pretty interesting. We could do the, the prediction stuff. What happened to Conrad? It was just nothing i mean there was stuff happening in the game it was just i didn't know how to interpret anything anymore it's just too much in that game it's just like it's just analysis paralysis oh hi there fingerprints i love this Andre changed it's just the church map the rest of the maps are totally fine it's just a church map that is kind of like it just doesn't work right now at least to, in my opinion it's just not like gameplay wise it just it just needs to change like as someone who's played that game for like 26 hours i don't even know how to play it which if you play the game for the first time i don't know how you'd ever be able to play that now like how you'd be able to to focus on anything smell salt you can do it twice if you get fingerprints you can do it twice not if you don't get fingerprints obviously let's fill in fingerprints by the way so I, don't them. I always thought having multiple ghosts could be com could be complicated it wasn't really uh but it's just like when they're so spread out it is uh, i'm guessing it's this room see that on the ground there. Marty, thank you for the sub. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Am I ever going to play Project Zombie again? When they do the next update, I want uh, the nice. I want the NPC update. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Uh, you're annoying. Boop. It's so hot. You love watching the Project Zombie playthrough. I had a ton of fun with that as well. Oh, hi right there. Um, here? I heard that. Are you a hallway ghost? You can't be. Look at the amount of mess you made here. I don't allow you to be a hallway ghost. It's not allowed. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. Welcome to the game axe observation duty style game. How would that work? I guess they're both sitting at a computer. What if you'd have to report anomalies while being attacked? Like, you get attacked, like, in, in Welcome to the Game, but you 
have to still do the observation duty at, uh, as well. That would be interesting. It would be interesting if you have some kind of like observation duty where you have to juggle like both the reporting and something else. Brad Miz, thank you for the five gift subs. All right, salt, um, salt and candle. Visible. Yeah, re re Ghost Exile is really fun. The Ghost Exile new update made it much better for me because I think the previous update, they tweaked all the systems, but the game was like so hard. Like it was just like impossible to win, which was really frustrating. But then they tweaked some of the systems and made it a lot more doable, which is a lot nicer. I want to play that more though, for sure. Help, L3. Thank you for the freaking park pushups. Thank you. All right, give me a sign. Hello, hello. Hello. Is Ghost Exile the one with the cursed doll? No, that's uh, Ghost Hunt, Ghost Exorcisms Incorporated. And you give us a sign. Hello. All right, you're being like so quiet. What the fuck? Are you in the hallway? Did you just move out of this room? What's my cursed item? Uh, it might be mirror. Whiskey throws. Thank you for the sub. And Nyx with two months and Trixian with the five gift subs. What the frick? Wait, what was the cursed item? I'm just so forgetful right now. It was mirror. All right, that's gonna help. Thank you so much, Trixian. Okay, so it's in the hallway, which is a little unfortunate because I was not. I placed my salt in the wrong room. Oh, wait, no, it's stepping in the salt. Lead the speedrun yesterday. We did. We did all the small maps. All right, you blew up my candle too? You're the best. Can you give us a sign? So, are you in this room? I'm gonna take a photo just to see if it's. Okay, so it is not a wraith in case that it will ever come. Oh, it could already not be a wraith because it's fingerprints. I forget. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Centurion, thank you for the two months. Okay, so it's not pizza. Come on. Two star food photo. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. I need to check the hallway. There should be a ghost that leaves handprints as footprints. Just walking walking on their hands. That'd be kind of interesting. I mean, it would be so obvious. But I guess the wraith is obvious, too. Like, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, Gorio? Gorio. Maybe Gorio? You're still in there? Um, Old of you to assume I want to talk. I wish the ghost room were passive in the beginning, like how it used to be. It's still the, it's never really changed the way the ghosts are always active from the beginning. And this has always generally been the way the game works. All right, maybe no Gorio. I'm dead as hell. Uh oh, it is in the hallway. That's not good. Uh oh, Phantom. It's not fast, so it's not. A, I don't think it's a miling. I don't think it's a hauntu. Uh oh, it's coming down. Or maybe it is a miling. I actually lived that though. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna set up my stuff in the in the hallway because it's definitely a hallway ghost, even though I wish it wasn't. Alright. Do we beat the Loch Ness monster game? I wish we could, man. I wish the boat if the boat <laughs> I don't have a photo cam, I'm so bad! No! Oh. 
I wish we had, uh, I wish the boat would not tip over. Because if the boat didn't tip over like that, holy shit, we could have, uh... Like, we could have just spent, like, two hours in one mission. I would have been fine with that. Because that stuff was so cool. When it worked out, it was really fun. Like, when the monster started appearing and the skeleton boat came in and stuff like that, like, that was cool. Shark loan, thank you for the prime, and Aki Kuru, thank you for the eight months. Other underwater sounds, 10 hour version. That second one was awesome. What do you mean? Oh, that one second? Yeah, like the 10 minutes where we were on the water and stuff started getting crazy. That was really cool. Uh, okay, so fingerprints are still there, obviously. It felt like it was an early hunt. So I'm gonna bring it to Crucifix, so just to see if it's a demon. This was on, what's up? This was on. What was the game where you were going in, sat at the PC and were solving murders while someone tried to sneak into your house? That was scrutinized? This is such a demon. Scrutinized is also a game from the, uh, from Reflex Studios, which is the developer of both Welcome to the game and Massive Deception, which is the game we played recently, the new ghost hunting game. It is such a deal. Like, there's no... <laughs> no question. I was thinking we never left. No, it is a different game. I think that was, like, the perfect description of Scrutinized I've ever heard. Because Scrutinized was a crime-solving game. Like, you have to... I want to play Scrutinized again, but... It's just so difficult if you're not in the flow of playing that game. The thing with that game is that it doesn't allow for casual play whatsoever. Like, you can't really play it while also talking. You have to be, like, an ultimate gamer and just, like... And just, like, go crazy on the... I'm trying to talk. You have to, like, listen to all the sound cues and check around the house all the time and just speed run the game. Like, in order to beat that game casually, you have to speed run it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. There is no such thing as casually beating the game. You either play the game casually and lose, or you speed run it and win. There's no in-between. You, you have no choice. Um, I'm gonna... I mean, I already know it's a demon. I don't really have to find it. What game scrutinized? Man, I remember when 8-Bit Ryan beat casual mode and scrutinized and he got the, the bad ending, which if you've never seen the bad, let me show you the bad ending. Adam, I mean, you can say whatever you want about him, but he is, he is a troll. <laughs> he is a troll, look at this ending. Uh, scrutinized. Casual ending. Uh, oh my god! Wait, no way. Did Cory Kenshin get that ending too? Wait, where is it? Can I get the fucking all endings? I just want to see the, the casual ending. One second. Where is it? There it is, there it is. If you beat the game... Wait, oh, stop. You, if you beat the game on casual mode, this is the ending you get. Yay! Shit ending. You are now ready for normal mode. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> it's just like making fun of you that you didn't beat it on normal mode. It's so it's so dumb. <laughs> anyway. It is a banger though, gotta say. <laughs> Yay! You couldn't even beat casual. I mean, casual mode is also very difficult. 
A what? It's not a demon? Oh, there's a ghost of it. Not an Oni, which couldn't be anyway. Uh, could you write in my book, please? Was that screen from Scrutinize? Yeah, we were talking about Scrutinize. Oh, hi there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's on the ground. Hi there. Please don't stand there. Please don't hunt from there. No, no, no. What the fuck is this ghost? This is so many ghost events. Oh no, step, step ghost, you're stuck. Oh no. Bitch, thank you for the three months. Dark plan, dunk, dank plank, thank you for the eight months. Oh no, step ghost. Stuck on the wall, what the hell? Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. Booty ghost. Oh, there it is. The crucifix. The first crucifix usage. That did take a while, though. That might be not a demon then, huh? Holy fuck. What? That's crazy. Did you touch the door? Dude, how many ghost events can one ghost do? Move the mannequin. It's not using the crucifix anymore. Banshee? It's not singing, though. I mean, I guess that was a sing. Sing ghost event, but it walked to me. Negative sanity, probably. I was it not hunting me when I'm at 0% sanity and we're thinking it's a demon? That doesn't really make any sense. But, what else could it be? We need we need the second evidence. Oh, God. Oh my God. You, what the fuck? Stop. Stop it. This is an active ghost. It's a shade? Yeah, it's a shade. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to do this? Wait, it's a yokai? Never mind. Wait. How did it not find me? I'm so lucky. I'm the luckiest bitch in town. No, no, no. This is the only hiding spot I have. I don't have anything better, please. Maybe this is singing ghost. Won't get in here. Thank you. Uh, Paramic, maybe? How did it hunt if it was a... I don't think it can be a demon then, huh? All right, we need more... Uh, it might be EMF5. To mean it's an Obaki? Touch the door. Touch that door. Um, that is way too close. That is too. What the fuck? It's something fast. I took a photo. I freaking accidentally took a photo because I got scared so hard. <laughs> it's a gin or something. Wait, what is it? No, 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 no! What is it though? What? Wait, what is that behavior? Wait, that's actually. Wait, is that a gym? Did you hear it? How was it that fast so close? It's gotta be a gin. Dude, that's insane. It was so close and it was still fast? Man, that was fucking nuts. That was wild. What a ghost. Holy shit. <laughs> Jeebus. Well, hello there. Um, I mean, that's fair play. That's just... I mean, that... It, that's the thing. Willow Street House is probably the, the worst map if you want to get money. Because the way the map is designed. We gotta... We gotta put CJ, like, on a bench and do an intervention or something. Because I don't know what happened with the hiding spots on that map. But someone hates us. Because uh, the the only hiding spot I had there was the hiding spot that I was hiding in the last round. Which was behind that blue thing. Um, in the in the basement. None of the other hiding spots were allowed. And that blue hiding spot is terrible. Because if the ghost walks into that room, you're just dead. So the only other hiding spot. And this one actually that I was hiding in right now can't be blocked. So that's the only hiding spot you have that is, like, actually a hiding spot. 
like a reliable hiding spot at least uh but the ghost can just find you randomly there if it walks to you if it walks into the room um it'll it'll find you and then you're dead as well so there's not much you can do then i'm gonna play on tanglewood instead because tanglewood is nice all right we got patricia bishop tanglewood does not have any problems with hiding spots give us the glass doors back I wonder if the custom difficulty will allow you to turn back on door hiding. Probably not. Wait, what the fuck? But that would be really interesting. I doubt it's gonna change the gameplay like that. Cause it's mostly just like modifiers and not really like gameplay change. I mean, it is a gameplay changer to change the speed of the player, right? That's a pretty solid gameplay changer, I'd say. Door hiding was so busted though. Maybe it's, maybe it's good it's gone. Door hiding was like a game changer. It just like created so like, that's when I got the most money in this game. Like I just won every single game because you never died if you knew uh, what you were doing compared to right now where you die even if you do know what you're doing, which is a uh, complete opposite of that. Curse of the Badgers, thank you for the two months. Like, the current state of Phasmo is so difficult. If you play, like, professional or nightmare mode and you're not, like, have played the game for, like, a several hundreds of hours, you're gonna have a rough time. Especially multiplayer. Because in multiplayer, you, um... You can't, like, reliably get your sanity back up after you get hunted the first time, so you're literally just gonna get chain hunted after the first hunt. So they want to make the a new tutorial, by the way. They want to rework the tutorial completely, which is really cool. Because the tutorial right now is a little bad. Like, it's just like, yeah, just bring in the ghost equipment into the room. And then just like, yeah, it, you, you'll, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Can you give us a sign? Hello? Hello? I have not heard anything. Is this a shade? I don't have the car key. What am I doing? There is a tutorial. Yeah, there's a tutorial, but the tutorial is literally like, hey, the ghost is in this room. Bring the equipment in there and good luck. That's the tutorial. The tutorial doesn't like show you what the evidence looks like. Doesn't like explain you anything besides just like, good luck. You're the tutorial? I mean, kind of. <laughs> is it, did I... What, am I in the wrong house? Did I get sent to... It's gotta be basement. No! Door! What the fuck? What the hell? What the hell? Interaction. I was hoping for fingerprints. That would have been sick. Uh, what? What's this door? I'm guessing. Yup. Okay, so it's a foyer ghost or a living room ghost. It's probably a living room ghost, actually. Let's see. Where are you? Intricated, thank you for the sub. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? What the fuck? Hey, Castina, thank you for continuing your gift sub. You missed too many unspoken technical things. I mean, it is, that is like the fun part for me, but I can just, I can imagine it being like annoying if you, I don't know, like depth in a game, is that really ever annoying? Is it really ever annoying that there's stuff you might not know about that you can learn? Like, I don't think so. I don't think anyone would go like, I'd rather, it's it's like the age old, if you can, if I can have it, no one can. Like, it's kind of toxic. Like if there's more stuff that you might not know about that doesn't take away from your experience, it just adds to the experience of others. Oh. Can you blow out the candle, please? Is this like some kind of fuck, this goes fucked up, man. Threw, some, threw a painting on the ground? Are you kidding me? What the hell? 
That's so rude. It's Orbeez! Okay, well, we found something. Are you having fun? Are you having fun yet? What is that? Where is that from? Are you having fun yet? I forgot. It's a video game. It's like one of those taglines. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you... Is it from back here? Oh, it's from Security Breach! Yes! Are you have? Or is it from Annie? Are you... No. No, it's not from Annie. I think it's Security Breach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Beep! What are you doing? Uh, chill out, man. You can't be everywhere all at once. That's not allowed. We don't do that here. It's making some food. I could use some food. Microwaved rice is ready. Are you having fun yet? Motion sensor? Smudge sticks. I already have a candle, but it probably went out. It doesn't matter if you're having fun. If you're enjoying the game only if you bought it. Vampire the Masquerade. <laughs> what? I've seen that game. I don't know what it is, though. What is that game? Because I've seen people play it. Like, I've seen a bunch of streamers that I know play it. Especially, I think a lot of people were sponsored to play it as well. It's a battle royale. You know what? That new Battle Royale Rumbleverse looks so much fun. Like, it looks so good. Where's my ban- where's my photo cam? Anyone playing Rumbleverse? I would be shit at it, but it looks fun. No. Can you give us a sign? I mean, I guess people that watch horror games are not necessarily... Battle Royale gamers. So toxic? What do you mean toxic? Like the the emotes are toxic, I guess. VR battle royale? What is? It? What? You just don't like battle royales? I've never played one. I think. I don't think so. Don't remember like actively playing a battle royale. Okay, we need to get some evidence. Uh, obviously, we got orbs. Now give me dots. Dots are running. Warzone and Apex are pretty fun. People are confusing multiverses and rumbleverse. Rumbleverse is the is the like it's the boxing game where you like kick each other. You don't have guns. It's a battle royale without guns, which is a very interesting concept on its own. All right, give me a sign. It's a wrestling one. Yeah, sure. Same thing. Oh! Well, then! <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to figure that one out the hard way. Easy. What a weird ghost. You wanna play too? It'll be fun. Honestly, any used to be like one of my most played champions. That shit. I had an account. I made a Smurf account that was like an Annie only, an Annie one trick. <laughs> I think I got to like plat with Annie only. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Cause you can play Annie both at support and as a uh, mid laner, so you could do like whatever. Whatever. Any bot. Like, I was an any bot clone. I think my account... I think I could still look... Should I dox myself, though? Wait, how do you look up accounts? Uh, league... Oh, here. How do you look... I'm not gonna tell you my name. Because I, I need to see what... I need to see my, my, my name. <laughs> I need to first look up myself before I... Before I sucked. 
Aw, oh, it doesn't have any of my stats? Feels bad, man. My, I, okay, now I can tell you because it doesn't matter. But my account, my name was Any, Any God. <laughs> I can't believe that was still available. Any God, dude. That name. That's a sick name. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it's been too long. All right, what am I doing? I'm playing this video game. Cringe. I was fucking like, I was a literal child. <laughs> It was cool though. I, lo I love League of Legends. It's a good game. Like, it's just the people that play it make it, like, give it a bad rap. But the game itself is, like, like one of the best games ever made, in my opinion. It's, like, the most replayable game ever made. Oh my god, this ghost is unacceptable. Boop, 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 boop. I don't think I have a hiding spot. I should have thought about that before I uh, started dying. Wait, I do have a hiding spot. Ah, so much. Wait, I can't close this. What the fuck? The door is broken. Why do doors break all the time now? This is fucked up, man. Oh, now I can. Yeah, when the ghost touches the door, you can close it again. And the doors are broken. All of the doors are broken on every map, though. Boop. Bada bing, bada boom. How do you- where do you look up League accounts? I want to see if I can find my old account. It's like when you find- you figure out you had a RuneScape account. Oh my god. Are there stats for this? There's no stats for this! It just says that I was gold in season 10. That's like not even- I played until- I played like many, many seasons before that. That's so stupid. Did they get rid of all the stats? League of Legends stats. Tracker.gg? Is that the one? No. Play some games! No! I don't want to play this anymore! Fuck off! <laughs> Alright, whatever. No, I guess I won't... Guess I won't be figuring that out. Uh, let's do craft. U.GG. No, it's... No. No. No, no, no. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? Why are there so many sites? Jesus Christ. Wait, I'm level... F How am I level 48? Isn't level 30 the max? What is going on? Okay, this does not contain any of my stats. I don't even know what's going on right now. Why is this so busted? 30 used to be the max. Wait, they changed that? Why did they change that? Wait! Oh my god! You can see my old stats! Wait, holy fuck. <laughs> Wait. But I suck. <laughs> I don't want to see this. <laughs> I got a 50 win rate with Ari and Sai and 60% win rate with Xaya. I remember I love to play Oriana, but she's so bad. I had a 35% win rate, but I used to still play her because she was just too fun to play. Any 60% win rate, let's go. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Blitzcrank. That time up man has come to an end. <laughs> I had a 100% win rate with Jarvan. I played him once. I'm so good. Uh, <laughs> I think I played some of these champions by accident because I just like picked them and then other people were like, no, I don't want to play that champion. And I was like, wait, but you asked me to pick him. And then he was like, oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh man. Wait, can I find older stats? 
Wait, season eight. Did I play? I did not play in season eight. I only played in season seven. And then season nine I played? No, I didn't play in season nine either. I played a few games in 2020. I had a 70% win rate with Blitzcrank. Dude, let's go. And 60% with Ari. I guess Ari was my most played champion. Anyway, this doesn't mean anything to anyone. What do we got? We got Steven Jackson. You guys, you're gonna make me play this game again. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do that to myself. Do it, dude? No way. I can't. Ari mains? I used to be an Azir main, but then they fucked him up. Azir used to be so fun, and then they were like, let's make him a short range champion, and then all Azir mains cried in pain. And never played him again. Oh, I heard that. Oh. Uh huh. Plit. Are you? A, you're a living room ghost. I hate that. Don't go dark side. No, no, no. I, I, I've given up my past. My past is behind me. Have we met Lisa while streaming? Of course. That's the whole point. Mm. Easy hiding spot. Dude, I love this map. This is like so. This is the map. This map reminds me of the good old days when you could just hide in places. Although, wait a minute. If I'm gonna play on the on the previous patch, so like the old version, I don't think you could hide behind furniture in that one. They changed that later on. So if someone that is used to the way the game works now plays on the latest version, you're just gonna die. Because you're gonna hide behind something and the ghost is just gonna be like, why are you sitting behind that chair, dumbass? And then you just get killed. All right, well, um, hopefully you're in this. You're in the living room, huh? Looping ghost is gonna be fun though. I can't wait to do that on custom difficulty too, because you are, you're gonna be able to turn off the ghost speed up, and then just loop the ghosts. Uncharted will be released on Steam. I don't know what that. Well, I mean, I know the game, I guess, but not really. No, I'm not gonna ever hit 10k today. No, no. Orbeez and freezing. It's a it's a mimic. It's a mimic. Hundred percent. Maybe. You can bring back the good old days of the ghost not speeding up. I just want the update. Like, it feels like my my life is on pause right now, and I just want to get the update. Like, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. It could also be fingerprints. Bit connect. I'm living in a simulation right now. Alright, I should turn that off. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Revenant, you're a haunt to Unreal, huh? All right, show yourself. Come on. Come on, ghosty pants. First item is the voodoo doll, yes. I was like, what is my first item again? Uh, we could just get a hunt and see if it's an Onryo. Or a uh, Hantu, I should say. Hantu or a Revenant. What does it hear when you ask, are you pizza? I actually don't know. I don't know. Are you old, maybe? Something like that? Hey, Ghoulish Groom, what's up? How you doing? Are you here, maybe? Right, this place is over here.
Okay, normal ghost. You know what? I'm gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna smudge. Oh my god, he was closer than I thought. I've died like that literally yesterday. I died by smudging too late. That's That was a new one. The speed up is just so, so... Uh, it comes out of nowhere you don't, when you least expect it. So it's got to be a um, Yure or on Rio, because it's none of these, or the Mimic, if it's fingerprints, which I can check. Does it touch this door over here? What level am I now? Like 9,930 or something? I think, something like that. Twenty-seven. Someone's keeping track. Uh, it's not fingerprints. Uh, there you go. It was a mimic. We fucking knew it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. When you get freezing and like, when you get two pieces of evidence for the mimic so fast, you're or you're like, ah, I feel like this is a mimic. This would be too. If this was nightmare mode, that would. Or if this was not a mimic, that would be too easy for nightmare mode. But yeah, there you go. Did I get the bone yet? I did not get the bone yet. Um, Boodle is not going to help us get a ghost photo, so this might not be a perfect game opportunity. We also need to do crucifix and motion sensor. Those are not very good. I mean, motion sensor is fine, but crucifix is really annoying. What was never the case? What was never meant to work? Malu. Maluhia, thank you for the six months. Let's go. Photo? Yes. OG door hiding? Yeah, 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 it was never meant to work like that. A sad moment. It was it was in the game from the very beginning though. Like that's crazy. Wait, was it? I think it was. Or maybe it was since the, uh, it was probably in the game since the, the furniture hiding patch. Silver Raven, thank you for the five months. Probably. Unless? Maybe? I don't know. Can I get a fucking boner, please? We'll have to see. Mythmaker, Mythmaker, thank you for the 18 months. Searching doors now. Good for me. We can play on the old patch to figure it out. Did we test that last time? Was even was that even known when we played it last time? I don't know. You leave fingerprints. I'm guessing you touched this door again. I'm gonna take a gamble here. Let us go. Gamble succeeded. I don't know where the fuck that bone is, man. Photos, thank you for the four months. Maybe it's in the Bathroom upstairs. Bathroom? Have I pre-ordered Scarlet Violet yet? What is that mean? Is everyone playing this uh, Disney game now? How is the Disney game? Uh, I don't even know what it's called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like Animal Crossing with Disney characters. Hands up, thank you again. First time, what? First instant vid I watched was the public matches, and today we got a follower game video. Let's go. It looks funky. It looks funky. Oh, come on. Where the hell is my boner? I guess I won't find it, huh? You enjoy it? <coughs> Slightly addicted to the Disney game. Dreamlight, that's what it's called. Aegis has been playing it. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I played the last Pokemon games have not been for me. I don't know. I played the Diamond and Pearl remake and I was like, yeah, yeah, no thank you. And then I just stopped playing Pokemon. Cause I was looking forward to that so much, but then I like forgot that they just like, when they do remakes, they just put in the bare minimum amount of effort. 
They literally just re-release the game and then they go like, Hey, you remember that game you played? We make you buy it again. And then you're like, yeah, okay, well, I fell for it. <laughs> you got me. You got me. I bought it again. Well done. I wasted my money. Oh, hell. Nice. Bye. Bye. Wait, what? Oh, I thought we were exactly that. I'm not even gonna go for the rest. I'm just leaving. Like Skyrim? I mean, Skyrim. GTA has been doing that too. I mean, GTA Online, I guess. But if you play... I don't understand people that play GTA Online. It's the most fucked experience of all time. Like, I remember I was like... I finished GTA and I was like, Okay, what's this GTA Online all about? So I played GTA Online and I was like... Being fucking bazooka by flying fucking cars. Like, it was like, it felt like, you know, back in the day when you played Modern Warfare 2 and there'd be a hacker with like a helicopter that like shot you before you even spawned in and you would like get just like permanently killed and it would just be the worst experience of your life. That was literally how I felt like GTA Online was. And I was, I played it for like, 30 minutes I you couldn't get in a car or stuff like you couldn't do anything whatsoever and then I was just like all right this shit sucks and then I stopped playing it after. it was so annoying all right anyway we have motion sensor ghost event and smudge stick Anthony Rook Anthony Rook I wish Modern Warfare 2 online was still working because if you go there now, I think it's still working, but it's literally just all hackers. <laughs> like, it's just not, it's all fucked. Because that would be, I feel like there would still be a community for that game if it worked. Because that, that is like the old OG game. Back when kill streaks were just completely broken. Like, kill streaks, they just, like, made the game more balanced, I guess. But they tuned down kill streaks in the later games, which just made it so much less fun. The fact that you could just shit on kids to, like, get AC-130s every game was so fun. Like, that was just, it was just the best. Oh, yeah, they're making a new one? Modern Warfare 2, they're making a, they're re-releasing it. Now, that would actually, genuinely, that is the situation. I know we just talked about, like, Diamond and Pearl, where they just released the same game they released uh, the first time, and it was like, yeah, okay, I guess that was kind of disappointing. For Modern Warfare 2, they could genuinely just release the same game, and it'd be, like, ev what everyone wants. Because the only thing people want with that game is just to have it be online again, and to have everyone play it again. Because, yeah... Those are the good old days. The good old days. What the fuck? There's a cup on your bed. And the laptop over here. Wait, did you do a, the freaking... Polter throw? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you French? Polter explosion? Maybe. They they're probably gonna balance it though. They're gonna make like the the kill streaks. Like the, what the stupid shit they did in like the later games was that the kill streaks for your what you got with the so if you got like a predator missile, then you would kill people with that. That wouldn't count towards the next kill streak. So it would just be it would be fucked. Like so dumb. Like you can't do that. That's like the whole thing. You had like a whole setup. You had a whole setup that would like gonna chain you from kill. Like literally all you had to do if you had like a proper setup was get one predator missile and then you could like hit that one, get the helicopter, just camp out in the corner somewhere, get the AC-130 and just start shooting people. It was the fucking best, dude. Oh man. God damn it. Oh, fingerprints. That shit was so good. Did you touch this? Just give me a sign, please. Where are you? Are you here? 
Are you close? Are you French? Noob tubing was so good too. Everyone got so mad. It was hilarious. <laughs> Come on. Do something! Aha! Uh -huh. That's definitely something. Fingerprints of ghost riding, huh? Poltergeist? It is actually a poltergeist, I think. That would explain why it was all such a mess when I came in here. I'm gonna take one photo. I need the. Did I get the cursed possession already? I did. Just tell me that worked. Nice. Okay, so we need the ghost. Fo oh no, we could have gotten the. We could have gotten it with fingerprints. Oh, whatever, it's fine. Quick scoping. That has never been back since Modern Warfare 2, right? Fucking one v one me rust sniper only. That was the shit. Have I played Hotline Miami? Uh, yes, I have. What is that one song? What is that one? Hit hey, this one. <laughs> that shit's so good. This is gonna get fucking copy struck. I can't listen to this. Wait, no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> That shit's so good! The music, man. I'm just gonna take both of these. Don't. Now I wouldn't like to find the bone. Motion sensor, smudge stick. I already have the bone boost today. <laughs> Man, I wanna this just made me wanna play fucking Hotline Miami again. That shit's so good. Uh alright, I drop my flashlight because I don't give a shit. <laughs> Music is Music is, uh, can be such a carry for a game. Like, a game could be good just because of the music. I am a toaster. Ah! Let's go, I got it. And then we place this in here. Are you in this room? I don't know if you are, but... Undertale. Undertale has great music. All right, you're not gonna step in my motion sensor, are you? I showed you my motion sensor, please respond. Fuck you. Oh my God. Whatever. This doesn't make any sense. I took the fingerprint and then the interaction filled. What is the, what? Thank you, Vamps, for the six months. Uh, and never give up. They give her the four months. Hence that they give her the two months photos again with the four months. All right, it was a polter guy, so that was a polter explosion. Let's go. Uh, Blisto. Good EMI five on cock today. Let's go. Marcia. Marcia Harris. Did I play Sarah CM? I don't. I can't even pronounce that fucking game. No, I didn't play it. Is that a real thing? Or are you just gonna say Sarousi among these nuts? Or something like that. Did I just get fucking these nuts? Do you guys know Sea of Thieves? See if these nuts fit in your mouth. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> ben. <laughs> you ever had kombucha? <laughs> yeah, can my friend Yukon Suck get a shout out on stream? Have you guys, have you guys ever heard that Northern Lion clip? It's so fucking funny. I need. <laughs> I can't show it because it's like it's, you need to know a bunch of details, but it's so funny. 
Can my friend Yukon Suck get a shout out on stream? <laughs> What the fuck? Bad insert. Dude, you should go to other. You should go to streams that you know and then just ask, like, can my friend Yukon Suck get a shout out on my stream, please? Sea of These. Not spitting your mouth. That's, that's a good one, because everyone knows Sea of Thieves. Although I've never played it. I don't even know where the ghost is, by the way. The shit's awful. What is a cursed item? Is it a board? Play it sometimes. It's pretty boring. Okay, well, what the fuck? You're giving me mixed messages. Is it cards? No. It's better than fucking... I can't. I have to do this. Where? What is it? You guys wanna... You guys love it because it's so catchy that you get it stuck in your head and then everyone around you just gets so mad. <laughs> I can't find this fucking ghost. I'm just running in and out. So it was you. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. I have given myself away. That poor woman. I miss Buck Bumble. Bump to the boom to the bump to the base. Bump to the boom to the. Bah, bah, bah. What about now? It's time to rock with the bigger the buck bumble. What about now? It's time to rock with the bigger the buck bumble. Bump to the bump to the bump to the base. Bump to the bump to the bumble. Bump to the bump to the bump. Where the fuck was the fan? Was it this room? I'm guessing it's one of these. Wait. It's in the freaking. Wait. Where the hell is this fan coming from? Is it downstairs? To the bump to the bump Bump to the bump to the bump to the base. Bump to the bump to the bump Bump to the boot to the boot to the boot boot. Bump to the boot to the boot to the boot to the boot. Bump to the boot to the boot to the boot. I didn't do that. To the base to the base to the base. I feel like I'm going insane. Is there a fan in this area? What is this noise? Wait, I'm crazy. Sorry, I'm stopping the music because I can't hear the fucking shit in the game. It sounds like it's going up. It's upstairs. Oh, it's a tiny fan! <laughs> it's the tiny fan. I didn't even know. I forgot that exists. <laughs> All right, anyway. Anyway, let's listen to some actual music again. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Shit's so good. Wait, I dropped my freaking camera. What am I doing? <laughs> Can I get a refund on my Twitch shop, please? 
No, I need it. I've bought too many Seabad albums. <laughs> I'm gonna get... I have... I have took out a loan. Um, anyway, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, crucifix? Yes. I am a toaster. Is that a... Can you find this? I... Secret... What is it? SCP... Secret files. I am a toaster. No, no one has it yet. No one has memed this yet. Oh, maybe they have. Like, I'm. I'm a toaster. I am a toaster. <laughs> I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Okay, dude. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. <laughs> Shit, so fucked up, man. <laughs> Where's my photo cam? There it is. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> Not that sign. Can you give me a sign? I will go to sleep with that fuck sign. <laughs> It's a bop. It truly is. No, we, we need to do a we need to do a poll. A very important poll. Question mark. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, you done it to yourself now. <laughs> I am unfollowing. <laughs> you all are evil. <laughs> See? I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Alright, touch the window, please. Holy shit, that's so good. The majority has spoken. No one has ever gone beyond that part. We can't go there. That's 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 the un uncharted territory of the song that we cannot listen to. Can you give us a sign? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> more Seabat. 350 votes. 80% voting for more Seabat. You guys. <laughs> All the people. I hope you have the worst night ever. Can you give us a sign? Better have fingerprints. You don't have fingerprints! What the fuck? Alright, give me a sign. You're so nothing. Wait, maybe it's finger- maybe it's EMF. No, it's not. Give me a sign. Zoldo, thank you for the pram! Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Please do sign. Now give me a sign. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Book? And no, it's wait. Oh, we had we had. I thought we only had one. No, we have two. Never mind. Uh. Oh, it's a poltergeist fight. <laughs> I'm out of here. Fuck this game. 
Wow, what the fuck? Like two poltergeists in a row? Okay, it's a little too quiet. It goes further than that? What is that shit, man? That's not allowed. What the fuck? Okay, which map have I not gone to today? I don't think I've gone to... Let's do the fucking... I don't want to go to... Oh, no, Etchfield. We've not gone to Etchfield today. Anyway. <laughs> what do we got? Escape. Crucifix Chris, much. Jennifer Robinson. Go, go. You will never be able to escape the sea bat. Sea bat is now one of you. You know that that's going to be like... It's so good because it's so recognizable. So... Like many, it will be the new fucking Rickroll. I'm telling you, can we make this the new Rickroll? You get sea batted. <laughs> Just <laughs> it totally has to be. <laughs> oh, beep 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 beep. <laughs> Alexa, play sea bat. <laughs> <laughs> it better work, dude. <laughs> Get sea batted. <laughs> you did not. Imagine. <laughs> Everyone starts getting sea batted. Wait, is that Obies? Obies? Where are you at, huh? One of these rooms. Where are you? Are you clean? Very nice. Spirit the box. Oh, what the hell was that? Was there something back there? Yes, you did. My Alexa said it didn't understand. Alexa, play Seabat by Hudson Mohawk. Okay, that worked. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I switched to my headset. I'm safe. Oh, baby. What the fuck? What the fuck? Don't do it, Alexa. Can you give me a sign? Can you give me a sign? Villain arc. All right, I'm gonna smudge you now because that's my objective. Smudged. Hey, hey, psycho. We're getting there. Not quite. Oh, we probably need like two more streams. I'm guessing. Can you give me a sign, psycho? Uh, have you ever heard this song? I wanna. I wanna have a score. Zero out of ten. Or like zero to ten. What is your score? <laughs> Psycho run away. <laughs> Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? I've never heard it, but I would say 0 0.5. You gotta hear it some more then. I don't think you've heard enough. It's so good. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Where are you? Are you here? Oh, okay. Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? I'm Okay, so you're in this room now, you little shit. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. I, I love that one day when all the... This is the only thing I, I, I got. Like, this is the only time I was like, oh, baby, let's go TikTok. When the whole TikTok everything was all just sea bat, that shit was funny as hell. <laughs> like every other's TikTok was just like where? How many? How many TikToks were made with that song? Wasn't it like a hundred thousand or something? Like it was crazy. <laughs> there were so many TikToks. Too many. Weren't there like remakes of the like, uh, what is the song? The, 
the classical romance song. I forget how it even goes, but like the they like made re uh, re the edits of uh, of Seabat to make it more romantic. Can you give us a sign? Careless Whisper, that's the one. Careless Whisper, yeah. They made a Careless Whisper Seabat version. <laughs> Can I wait? Careless Whisper Seabat. Fucked up, dude. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Is it this window? I'm just gonna take a photo. Interaction. <laughs> and you give me a sign. Where are you? Are you here? Play no Splunk, thank you for the four months. Will I play more Forewarned? I want to play more Forewarned. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? What is this stream? I must have misclicked. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? What the fuck? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you pizza? Are you... Do you like sea bat? Do you like sea bat? Does that actually work? Do you like sea bat? Come on. Do you want me to play sea bat? It can answer the question? Oh! Basement? Or upstairs. I don't even know. I don't know. Basement or upstairs? No, 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 no. I'm gonna alt F4 and play C bat. I'm gonna alt F4. <laughs> I live, bitch. <laughs> I lived, bitch. <laughs> so it was from the basement, right? Uh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's, where's the spear box? Help. Spear box? Oh, there it is, under the ball. Where are you? Most of it. No, I'm dead as hell. Wait, we can talk about it. Help me. Let's go. I'm safe. Beep, 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 beep. What is that mix called? It's Careless Whisper Seabed version. If you type the worst song ever, will that come up now? Beep, beep, beep. I need to talk to you. You're not hunting, right? Okay. I need to grab these and put them in the basement. Why does it gotta be a fucking basement ghost again, huh? Every time. Every fucking time. Oh, it's a summoning circle. Okay. Um, now we need to talk to you. Let's see what this ghost thinks. Where are you? Are you fucking... fucking kidding me? Next to me, she says, huh? This ghost is really angry. Really angry. It really does not like Seabat, huh? Beep, 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 beep. Seabat and chill. It's so funny. Like, there were so many. <laughs> there were so many TikToks that were like. 
so, like a guy walking into the room with their girlfriend on the bed and then the guy being like, you know what time it is. <laughs> and then the fucking music starts playing. <laughs> and then the girl's just fucking jumping out the window. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? I hate you! Oh my god! Wait, why is my flashlight like it? Wait, I'm scared. What the fuck? I wonder if any couples do it ironically now. Barbie girl certified hood classic. I'm a Barbie girl. Is it this one? You wanna go for a ride? Sure, kid. Jump in. <laughs> that shit, dude. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. <laughs> this is too far. <laughs> Alright, I need to eat some pills. Did I get the crucifix? Obviously I didn't. This ghost is fucking awful. Okay, um... Look in the basement. There's stuff in there. I can't do Hey, the best times of my life. Psycho, you're old. <laughs> I'm sorry to say this. <laughs> I hate to be the first one to tell you. <laughs> Can you give us a sign? Remember Crazy Frog? Oh my god. Bam, bam. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Yeah. Do you want me to play more sea bat? What is the question? Do you want me to play more sea bat? Give me the answer. Give me the fucking answer. Do you want me to play more sea bat? Hurt. Hurt? What does that mean? <laughs> uh oh. I don't think you like sea bat. <laughs> hurt. <laughs> that it hurts so good. You mean? <laughs> It hurts so good. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get this in there as well. Alright, um... Hey, what the fuck am I even doing? This ghost sucks. I'm getting nothing. Or the fucking, what was that, like, gummy beer song? You guys remember that shit? Gummy beer song. What is that? What is that song? I just... What is the fucking song? I don't remember it. Look for the gummy... <laughs> what the fuck, man? That shit... How was that popular? <laughs> Wait. It has... It has three billion views. <laughs> it has three billion views. Excuse me. That's a that's a that's a lot of views, man. <laughs> How did people listen to that three billion times? How many views does Crazy Frog have? Three point five billion. I can't listen to that though you. I can't. I can't do that to anyone. I can't that is that goes beyond my powers. Hamster dance. <clears throat> baby shark. How many views does baby shark have? I can't do that because if I play baby even a second of baby shark, Susan will send the the mafia after me and I'll be end up in a ditch somewhere. Eleven billion? What the fuck? Can you give us a sign?
This ghost is like just nothing. Are you? Is there even a ghost? Like did the ghost just turn off? Where are you? Can it be a shade? Like what is this? Is it a wraith? What the fuck, man? Is it a Gorio? No, it can't even be a Gorio. I don't understand. Despacito has 25 billion views, but that's like a good song. Or like at least, at least like a normal song. I'm gonna do this and this and... I mean, that's about it. What else can we do? You must down there? It wasn't slow at all, though. You only get flat earth stuff pushed at you on TikTok. Isn't TikTok like, in, like it's, there's like an insane radicalization problem on TikTok. I watched a video about that today. And you give us a sign, step in the cell. Where are you? Are you here? Okay, you're here. Step in the cell, you piece of shit. Despacito was the second most viewed video. What is the most viewed video? Wait, it better not be some fucking K-pop shit. Can you give us a sign? It's Gangnam Style. Okay, that's, I mean, I guess close enough. <laughs> Can you give us a sign? Oh, here we go. I don't have a photo cam. Well, fuck me then, huh? <laughs> Davis! So it's not a wraith. It's not gonna be dots or writing, huh? It's like impossible to be. It's gotta be EMF. It has to be. How many views does Gangnam Style have though? Wait, what is the most viewed video? How does no one know the most viewed video? Is it Seabat? <laughs> is, it, is it this song? It's gotta be, right? It's Baby Shark. Okay, who said there was the second most viewed video then? Wait, am I stupid? Oh, Despacito. Wait, no, because Des Baby Shark has 11 billion. And people's. Oh, wait. Despacito is not 25 billion. Did people just misspeak? Because people said it was 25 billion. What the fuck is going on? Oh, it's only 8 billion. Okay, come on. Fucking rookie numbers. What the hell? Give me a sign. This ghost is awful. I'm so confused how people make up different numbers. There's not even 25 people... 25 billion people in the world? Well, you've never looked at a K-pop song, huh? Just tell me you're not a K-pop viewer without telling me you're not a K-pop viewer. Fucking have 10 different screens going all at once, looping fucking BTS. I wanna be your boyfriend oh so bad, oh baby, oh baby. I don't know any of their songs, but I'm guessing that's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get fucking cancelled by the K-pop squad. What have I done? <laughs> Challenge much? It's so funny though. K-pop unite. Yeah, I don't. I've never listened to a single song. I just like shitting on stuff that's popular because I'm I'm a hipster like that. Give me a sign. Can you give me, please, a sign? You are a piece of shit. You just touch the piano. What? I don't like this shit. Alright. Um, I don't know what this ghost is. I think I genuinely have to, because my brain's fried. What is it? On Rio? Oh, hi there. Hi there, Grandma. Please be a phantom, so I'm just done. No! Alright, are you gonna be here now? Uh, it, like, shade was an option, I would go shade, but it's not. Wait, we know what it's not, right? 
Can it be EMF5? It can't be EMF5, right? But it has to be EMF5, because it can't be anything... It has to be like the spirit or something. Or twins? What the fuck, man? You have dots in clip, but it's broken. I don't trust that. What is it? Spirit? We just gotta stick around, I guess. Um, salt is pointless. Is it gonna be up there? Have another spirit box. Do spirit test? Yes. Where are you? Are you here? Are you? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Dude! Where are you? Are you here? Are you pizza? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Do you like sea bat? Where are you? Are you here? Happy birthday, Kika. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? This is fucked up. This is fucked up! Do you like Zaybots? Where are you? Oh my god. It's in the garage now? What the fuck is wrong with you? This ghost has been all over the place. We gotta get that evidence in there, right? It's a cracked spirit. Let's just smudge it and see. Well, we need to... I just stopped. Uh-oh. Are you a K-pop fan? Yes, I love every single song from them. And I know them all too. I'm gonna get the crucifix out of the basement. I don't even know what to do anymore. Can't be twins? Yeah, it can't be twins, that's right. It's gotta be EMF though, right? What the fuck? It's- if it's writing, I'm actually just the Joker instantly. Where are you? Are you here? I'm behind you. Why the fuck, man? Where's my light? Turn off the breaker. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna smudge you. Come here. Are you a yokai? Are you a yokai? Uh oh, the door's fucked. The door's fucked. The door's broken. What happened with this door? Why is the door so broken? Help, 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 help. It's fine. I live. I live the ditch. Seabat should be on the challenge wheel. Play Seabat for 10 seconds. Try not to die challenge. Difficulty level impossible. Alright, we do these upstairs. If it was dots, you gotta play Seabat. Deal. Oh. Are you in this room? Like, I don't know anymore. It's just like everywhere. Where are you? Okay, it's such in the store. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Okay, you're in this fucking room again. Please, stop it. I could just totally die here and I wouldn't even care. It's just the way it goes. Take this. Give me dots or writing. Oh my god. Where are you? Are you here? I'm behind. Okay, perfect. Whatever. 
how it can't be EMF. It can't. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Spirit. No, it's just a crucifix. It's not a spirit. Is it a mirror? It's gotta be a mirror, right? Because it roams so much. I'm dead as hell. Grandma. Um, it's gotta be a mirror, right? Because it, it roamed so much. And it roamed away from me turning on the lights every time. It's gotta be that, right? It's gotta be some bullshit. It's a mirror. I'm out of here. Fuck you. Turn off the breaker so many times. Did it do it though? Let's go! Alright, well, the stream is over. <laughs> I'm fucking... I'm going to bed. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope I didn't... Uh, I hope this uh, creative form of torture has been not too, <laughs> too unpleasant. And I'm gonna go see who's live right now and go say hi somewhere. Thank you guys for hanging out. You better ask them to play Seabat. Who are we going to say hi to, though? Let's see. Don't ask it too much, though. They're going to be so annoyed. <laughs> I would be fucking... I would be fuming. Anyway, we're going to go say hi to a lovely gamer. I'm going to filter on English. Oh, baby. What a, what a mess today. If you guys want to join the Discord and uh, do all kinds of fun stuff. There you go. Exclamation for Discord. We're going to scroll down, say hi to someone. Let's see. What is happening here? Have we ever said hi to this? I don't know, maybe? Let me see. I think we might have. Oh, yeah, we did. Um, let's see. So many people. Do, 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 do. Oh, man. There are so many streamers. Maybe we'll say hi here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. It was a good time. It was a weird stream, but it was a good time. Weird stream, but a good time. We don't mind that. All right, we're going to go say hi over here. I hope you guys are going to have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye-bye, everyone. Tomorrow, we're going to actually play Phasmo. So we're going to try and... We're probably going to do challenges, though. So we're getting closer. I think two streams from now. I think two streams where we grind and then one stream where we do the special. So tomorrow will be normal Phasmo. Then Sunday will be maybe special Phasmo because it's the anniversary. We got to get it, though. It's actually rich. It's getting close. We have to speed run. Like, we have to get these levels fast because the time is running out. We only have, like, 10 more days. Time flies when you're leveling up, apparently. All right. So, yeah. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Let's go say hi. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.